Let me up in this game. Okay, y'all better come on. I ain't gonna wait all day. Y'all know that uh, Kitchen Table Talk is generally a one-hour show. I'm gonna let it extend, but if y'all play around, baby, I'll be gone like the wind because I've been talking for a whole hour, child, about this. And I have said what I had to say. I said what I had to say. It's the whole burning for eternity for me. I'm scared. You said, I am scarred. Oh, there they come, baby. They fall in the door. Mr. Lacey. Hello, beautiful. How are you? I am well, James. My handsome you? friend, honey. <laughs> hey, James. How are you? I'm Can good. My beautiful sister, Savon. Hey, Pocky. And mm -hmm. uh, YouTube's own, honey, Slappy. <laughs> hey, Slappy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lacey, you first. Okay, what you got for me? I wanted to jump in on this one from a elder point of view, being 60. Uh, because usually us elders, we're gonna be, oh God, this is this is devil worship, this is this, that, and the other. Um, but for me, only God can go boom. And this was a boom moment. Um, the same 80-year-old um uh, deaconess cousin I was mentioning earlier, who told us, What if this is God trying to get our attention? in a way that would really impact our thinking on how we talk about people in the LGBT community, how we're always damning them to hell, no different than we do to the prostitute on the street, not realizing that that may be set up by God and his grace and mercy will carry her home. But look at how many people who pass her daily, the little girls may decide, I don't wanna be like her. So what if that prostitute is God sent and his grace and mercy has ha saves her because if God will sacrifice his only son, surely he can sacrifice one of us for the greater good. Um, so I thought this was a piece of art, just like Picasso when he, Picasso cut off his ear and everyone thought, oh my God, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. this is gathering our attention. And in these last two years with COVID, fires, floods, everything that's happening on such an epic scale, the universe is trying to get our attention because we're treating each other poorly and we have been forever. So things are happening to get our attention to help us elevate because as Christians and adults, we get to that place where nobody can tell us anything else. Sure. We stop learning, um, but God is infinite. And where we try to put boundaries on God at, in our carnal mind, God is infinite. We never know what he's doing and why he's doing it, but we do know he can get good out of evil. Right. So if this presentation of evil will bring about the good of humanity, child, we need to start listening. I, listen, I, I'll take all that. I'll take all that. That's why, like I talk about his his humor, because a lot, I know it makes people uncomfortable, exactly. but I, I do, I'll, I'll say it because it's how I feel. He does, he has some type of a sense of humor you just be like, oh, you why you do that? Thank <laughs> you. See that? Because we were all we're all sinful as hell, but we're so quick to judge somebody else's sin with, to take the take to take our mind off our own madness. So we, it's quicker for us to judge somebody else and play God the sequel. That's what the, that drives me crazy. Everybody playing God the sequel. God, God is that all by himself. He don't right. need nobody else. We sing. God is all that. He don't need a bag of chips, but yet we back here chipping and just crumbling up everything, judging somebody else instead of looking for the greater message. Yes, it was it was a beautiful piece of art. Epic. Epic. It was. Um, and every time you look at it, just one of them things, you look at it, you see something else. It was definitely that. Exactly. It challenges the brain. And when something is challenging your brain that much, because it gave our brain a whole workout. When something is challenging your brain that much, for me, that's the hand of God. That's power. That's power coming down on me saying, okay. But then again, like I said, I'm I'm speak, I'm thinking this from an elder perspective. Yeah. Um, we grow in wisdom. 
So it's, it's easy to criticize something in the moment, but for those claiming Christ, to be Christian and of God or whatever, faith, those things unseen, faith sometimes comes to us through our carnal existence as far as how to elevate that faith. There's a lot of, that was a powerful video. That boy gave us what everybody has condemned him about. Oh, you going to hell, you doing this. He's like, okay, bitch, you wanna tell me that? Let me show you what you're putting on our children. Let me show you what you're saying, this is happening. Why are you playing God? So he's calling us out. It was, and the, 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 the imagery, it's, it is unsettling. It is it's unsettling because now I love horror movies and stuff and I see it in movies all the time and it doesn't bother me. And I, I have to say, when I first seen, I was like, whoa, wait a minute, boy, what are you doing? And that's because this is not a movie. This is like music video is kind of like real life. Right. Kind of funny right. stuff. You know, so that it was kind of unsettling, but then it was like, child, okay, well, it is what it is. And then I was on to the next thing. I'm looking at what it really is and how it looks and all of that. And then my thoughts went into him. I'm exactly. worried about him. Exactly. You know, and I don't buy into the fact that if, I think if I thought that he literally was practicing Satanism, then I would feel a different It'd be a life. whole different story. But right. your, your spirit, so, your spirit would have told you that. Yeah, I, I don't, I just don't, I don't right. feel like that about him at this present time. Um, I do, I'm worried about him now. Oh yeah. I'm worried about what the world is gonna to do to him. Very much so, very much so. Mia, thank you so much. Wait a minute, Lacey, because there's a message and I wanted to read it. And there's lots of messages over here talking about who's 60, 60 and fine. So you know what that gives. United States, <laughs> United States Marine, farm boy from Ohio. I use ivory soap only. It is what it is. It, it works. <laughs> it's working. That's what Thank it you. Is. Thank Mr. you. Mr. I am in your decade and I feel, I feel what you're saying. People always want to blame everybody on the devil. Go do a lot of, go do a lot of strange things to get our attention. Right. I got it. I got it. Powerful. Yep. He, he, he um, amazed me as you do. Cause I've been watching you for a while and this is the first time I've ever jumped on a live. There's only one of the live I jump on. I know. I was like, what? <laughs> you have, anytime you speak, you have God all over you and I see it. You bring it out in a funny way a read way or whatever. You're a blessing to YouTube. That's why you've been successful for so long. That's why I support you like you do, like I do. Um, you're needed. And I honor being here to speak with you. I honor listening to you. I honor the ability that God has placed you placed within YouTube to have people like you come on because it's needed. Thank you, Lacey. It's Thank needed. You. Amen. Oh, you're that slappy. <laughs> oh, there go, Uncle, <laughs> there go, there go, Uncle Tim. Right, hey, hey, Uncle Tim. Hi, hey, Uncle Tim. Hey, Lacey, I didn't ever, I never met you before. No, I've been, I've been, I've watched you sometimes, a lot of times from the bushes because you uh -oh. cracked me up. <laughs> It tickles me when people know you that you don't you didn't know they know you. Exactly. <laughs> no, your testimony is strong too, Uncle Tim. You've got a you've right. got a very powerful testimony. Um, right. And it's blessing people out here. Right. But I'm gonna drop back down. But I, it's an honor, Spiller Boy, to finally speak with you one on one. I pray your strength. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank Ooh. you so much. You're welcome. And we're gonna it's go to so Safe so Safe on is probably working. Save on. Girl, look, I'm not working right now. I'm, I'm on medical leave right now, so I'm going to rest my shape in a second. Let me tell you something. I loved this video, for one. And the reason why is because it literally brain screwed us all. It brain screwed us. And you know what? I thank you because I'm going to listen to the lyrics again because I didn't know he was talking about trade. But now that I think about it, I've had some of those trade experiences. You dead on. You are dead I mean, on. I don't know what you're talking about. I just went by what ah. other people told me. Oh, what other people say what they had said was. But listen. Come here with the message. What oh. they had said was. I don't know. That's what they said. But let me just tell you one more thing, though. The way that he came through, though, he I do feel that he has taken the whole... You know, we've always been told in the alphabet community how we're going straight to hell. He was like, well, if I'm going straight to hell, I'm going to ride this pole all the way down there like P-Valley. And I'm right. going to take this mother sucker over. Okay? Because yeah. I, I got the, the general public was ready. 
they you know, want ready him living his best drag fantasy and being a rapper was enough for the public and then he just it was too much out. for them too but i really think the artist is take a, a, a beat back i get how uncomfortable it is but take a beat back for a second because right now all a lot of the artists that's in the industry whether they're new or you know, uh, a, a couple years in, until you get to a point where you've been a few years in, where you can pave your own way and have creative control, you really need to be to promote other artists taking these type of risks, even if they're uncomfortable. Because once you start opening those doors, it will open up the engine doors to you to be able to be a little bit more creative and expressive. They say that we're not ready for it, but all the stuff that we see on TV and movies. We're seeing a lot worse, honestly. So we're ready for it. Just maybe not in the video lane, but we're ready for it. We see and do a lot worse. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely, I do agree with what he said about the ch about the children. Um, he wasn't see, but oh, that's yeah. a double edged sword because it this was a gear for the kids, but his old town road stuff. All he the had a lot of children followers, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Um, and Uncle Tim, I'm glad Uncle Tim came up here because Uncle Tim kind of touched on it yesterday about the fact that it had to go through so many channels, and each of those channels had to approve. Prove it. They, it had yes. to be approved still. Yes. And yes. they did. So yes. how much lesson really are they going to be able to do? But you know, you backpedaling and pussy popping. You know when the folks start fussing, that he he will be the fall guy as the artist. He definitely will, and I'm pretty sure he's. Listen, he's in the LGBTQRSTUVWXY. Girl, we used to that. We used to that. How we gonna be doing? Goddamn beneficial. Yes, we are. Look, look, career career vigilance show. Listen, I done did benefit shows a plenty. For a bunch of folks I didn't know and causes that I, I, I wasn't touched by. I like Lil Nas X. So, girl, if I got to go and do a couple benefits shows, do a couple hair flips and dips, honey. To okay. Save them, honey, I guess I'll get my pumps out. Uh, really? Just look, just come in with all that body. Because I ain't going to lie, I didn't realize that body was giving what it gave, honey. And it, it oh. I, I'm still a little bit flabbergasted. But. Oh. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. That's all I wanted to say was that's I come all, in here. Yeah, that's all we're saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Slappy. Hi, <laughs> Slappy. Hi, how are you? <laughs> What's going on, babe? Oh, nothing much. Um, I'm just coming back home from buying my hand wafers. But, um... <laughs> Um, yeah, I want to think that video was very nice. I, I really liked it. And um, a lot of people were asking if he stuffed his drawers when he was going down the pole. Mm -hmm. and, and, and his business was all out there. A lot of people are debating whether he stuffed it or if it, that was that came up yesterday that came up yesterday in my life and you break it up slappy but um it came up and i just said go back to his twitter go back to his instagram you got to do that research yourself i ain't saying nothing but Lil Nas x he's a troll he has thirst traps that he has posted go back see the thirst traps and then make your own decision <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I'll have to go back and look at that. Oh, uh, um, oh, I wanted to ask you a question that's not about the video. Were you over at yes. CT? Were I oh, was I over where? Say it again, Slappy. I can't hear you, Slappy. You know what? Go out and come back in. Uh, go ahead. Try it again. Go ahead, Slappy. Okay, I'll go out and come back in. Yeah, go out and come back in and it should clear up. Oh, there got my baby. Come on, Uncle Tim. What's up, babe? Okay. Hey. How y'all doing? Hey, Good. Tim. 
Forgive me for coming back twice in two days. I think it's no, no. I'm glad you came back. I'm glad that everybody <laughs> that was here came back because I told you I was going to really go more in depth today. So I am glad you came back. Thank you. Well, you did a good job breaking it down. I have softened a little bit since yesterday because when I first saw that video, I hated it. I mean, I hated it. I and knew you would. Like, <laughs> but uh, you know that you're going to have to come with us to save me. As soon as he dropped on the devil's lap, I was through. That was it. So all mm -hmm. I could see of the whole video, I didn't pay attention to the video. It all went, it all went away. All I know is this man just long stroked the devil's dick. I had never seen it in my life. Oh, I'd never yes, seen him like that. So, <laughs> but now to be fair, to be fair, these these uh, metal rock people have been doing it for years. Right. All these, mm -hmm. these, uh, white entertainers have been doing it for years. The movies, they even have a te television series called Lucifer. Yes, they do. Character. So I guess other industries have done it, but black people are real sensitive about this because we live on faith. You know, we came out of slavery by faith. Absolutely. So faith has always been a part of it. So I, I still, I think he could have did everything he did without dropping down on that lap. If he would have dropped that, that leave, leave the devil scene out, he would have been fine. He could have even dropped down and if everything would be on fire. We would have got the symbolism. But to actually be out there giving him head, mm. this is a young boy, you know. Anyway. Anyway, here's what I want to say before I leave. He ain't young now. He, he, wait a minute now, Uncle Tim. Mm. Let's clear that up. He yeah. is of legal age. Yeah, but he's still, a, I, I don't know. The image, he's young to you. Right. And mm. I, well, yeah, he's young to us. But we're going to be the ones that have to go out and save him. That's all. It's, right, it's all. right, right, right. But, but yeah, he is a, those back. in the back. Had you not a folks or those in the back, he's over 21, y'all. Okay, <laughs> I'm not saying that he's under age. <laughs> and a man falling down on the devil's penis in oh. Gogo's. In Gogo. Oh, oh so that was, was too much. That was so much better. I kind of liked it better the other way that you said it. But that <laughs> anyway, well, what I came on to talk about, I want to talk about these goddamn shoes. These shoes. Yeah. Yes. $1,500 for some shoes that Nike doesn't even claim. And all mm. they did was put a little logo on the back. They could probably a pull-off sticker. Maybe they put a little steam on it to put a 666 in the back of the shoe. And then they take this cheap little ornament where you know you can buy a whole bag of ornaments. You know, you sew. That's no, no more expensive than a button. And just hang that in the shoelaces. That's not even a part of the shoe. And then right. they get, So since they can't sell this shoe for 1000 to $1,500, now they're going to say, it's a drop of human blood. What the fuck does that got to do with it? It's the devil's blood? For any person, they say the people who work there, they just had them put their finger out. Put blood. What the fuck is that? Oh. It's all, it's all hype. Yeah, I th that's that's where I was saying that was going too far. That's Because mm -hmm. when you start playing with blood, then that does kind of fit in that realm. You know, the, the Satanism, they, they play around like that. in right. sacrifices. And I don't, I don't. A certain number of shoes that makes me uneasy because I still I'm still standing on I don't think he practices that I just don't and then he has to come out of his mouth he probably doesn't believe in anything other things mm -hmm. with him where it, I believe he believes what I believe you know I, I believe mm -hmm. he he deals with the same God that I deal with that has that dark sense of humor and God would understand, honey. My God would understand because he understands me and my off color laughing and carrying on. Yeah, but so. you ain't you, you ain't gonna sit up there and grind on the devil. I mean, this um, too much. I, 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 we have, huh? Who who that? We have. We, there's, a, there's a lot of walking devils out there. <laughs> 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 we have now we're back, now we're back again. <laughs> Uncle Tim meet Savon. That's Savon. Savon, have you I'm met Uncle Tim before? It is a pleasure to meet him today, and you best believe I'm gonna find this channel because I love me some him already. Yes, right. that's Timothy Blaine. B L A I N E. Right. Timothy Blaine. He's a writer as well, and uh -huh. he's a whole hot mess. Well, you make a good one. All the same stuff I do yeah. because. You make uh, <laughs> we, have, we have all danced on a devil or two. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Top of the big screen, honey. <laughs> okay, one more thing. I'm, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. Okay, 
this thing about trade, my understanding of trade. Trade are people who are not in it in it for the sex. Mm-hmm. Usually for ZT. You got to buy them a watch. You got to give them some money. You got to do something for them. And they'll do anything, is my understanding. Because I know a whole lot of gay people who will not go with another gay person. This person has to present himself as he is straight. They say he's straight. And the girl says he's straight. They all in agreement, right? But they still have sex. I'm trading you for something. You give me this, I'll give you that. Mm, well, yes and no, Uncle Tim. Uh huh. There's trade that you ain't got to shake your purse for. Really? Yeah. Yes, really. Because uh, I'm telling you, I'm 49 years old and I ain't shaking no purses other than <laughs> down the runway. <laughs> oh, so they give it. So I they ain't, it. No, I'm not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I ain't sitting there saying that I ran through all the trade in Pittsburgh either. I, <laughs> <laughs> but there is trade that you don't have to to pay for. But that is, you know, that is very common. That is very common. Right. Right. That like they, they make the girls shake their purse. Oh, okay. Oh, shake their purse. Okay. Well, thank you for the information. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You hey, too. Have. I have subscribed already. Okay. God bless mm-hmm. you. Hey, babies. Hey, See you Uncle later. Tim. Hey, boo. All right. Let me go back. <laughs> All right. Ryan. Thank you, Uncle Tim. Okay, later. Ryan, thank you so much for um, being so patient. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm so How excited. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um. Okay. So my two cents on this whole well, now this video, I actually like the part that everyone does not like. I like the part when he slides down the pole and gives the devil a lap dance. Like, it's very creative. It gave me very much, it reminded me of um, him from uh, Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just find it because, um, okay, I, I saw Lovely T and I saw Conscious T. I saw their, like, two cents on it. And they like basically just went in on him. I'm like, first of all, like calm down. Like it's not that serious, but I get, I, I, I got what they were saying. But still, I was like, mm-hmm. mm. it made me look at, made me look at Nas a little. I look at him like like a side eye. Like, mm, maybe this is true. Maybe it's not. But then again, he is a troll, you know. So, um, but I love the video. I love the song, and I love the, I love the video. I and now you know what Ryan I have to say I think and like I said I'm still standing on that he doesn't practice even though I'm seeing mm-hmm. I see him, and I definitely I'm hearing you Miss Conspiracy Theory and the other uh-huh. gentleman that said that um they they feel like he is part of that order I just don't and and uh-huh. I have to say if I thought that he did then I would feel differently about those things but mm-hmm. at this point where I feel like he's just trolling I'm with you I, I again in every frame he was absolutely sexy yeah his yeah. Every frame he I thought mm-hmm. he looked fabulous uh, in in every set every outfit uh, he mm-hmm. was living his best life mm-hmm. and it was definitely he was sexy in the whole thing but again yeah. If I believed that he was worship of Satan, I probably would feel, I ain't no probably, I would feel differently. Thank you so much, pretty one. Um, say Little Dog's ex went too far. Wait a minute. Little Dog's ex went too far. I'm gay as fuck. This is not <laughs> the presentation I want. Um, that's all out. Him taking the devil's horns and now the devil. No, no, no. Um, I don't like it. I get it. I, I, and I understand your standpoint. I do. I understand. I understand. But he killed him at the end. So what's the, really the, he killed him at the end. So like, what's yeah. the issue? And yeah, because I mean, it, it just depends on how you go look at it. Because I mean, power, you do what you want with power. Power can be made, well, it's made to be evil. It has to do with the person that's holding the power. So, you know, again, we can go on and on and on. Um, yeah. And let me see right here. I do have to say this to this person here. Wait a minute, Logan. Logan said, um, "People think I'm. People always call me Trey. 
and I never understood why. Um, look at the picture. Look at the picture. You know why, Logan. <laughs> Bye, Logan. <laughs> Child love that man. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, well, okay, I, 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 asking me, love. Yeah, I, I was asking you. Um, well, um, if you saw um, Sir King's live last night. I saw part of it. Mm -hmm. Well, so, it, it was the interview segment where he was interviewing her, basically, and um, it got towards the end, and so people could come up and ask questions. So I oh, I did see that where they wouldn't let you up. I saw that. It, yeah, because she's like, no, I'm not, no, that's right here. up here. No, I'm not talking to her. What I am tired of gentlemen dimples being so damn mean to people. And <laughs> I didn't know she would run from a puppet. <laughs> now that's the thing. Don't take the personal slappy. The thing is, you got your own platform and you got other places that you can come, you know. So yeah, I, I saw it. I know it bothered you. I did see that because it was a long live, child. I was I was in, then I was out, child. I was sleeping all up and through that live. <laughs> a lot of times I fall asleep. Screaming and yelling, and then she wasn't. Then she was. I said, "Girl, I was snoring all in between it." But yeah, yeah I saw I saw that that bothered you, and I was like, "All oh, slappy." Yeah, well, yeah. You know, like one night I had um I was listening to the show. And she was on there, and I had my earbuds in, and I dozed off. And I was having a nice dream. And then all of a sudden, I hear all that screaming and yelling. I just knew I was in hell. And I was like, oh, my God, God, get me out of here. Get me out of here. And I was cooking my wooden heels together saying, I want to go home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And I just kept hearing this shrieking and screaming. And I was like, oh, what the hell? And then I finally woke up, and I realized it was Lady Dimples. I was like, oh my God, she was terrorizing me in my sleep. And, oh, it's a sad, sad state of affairs. I tell you, my you are goodness. Happy. <laughs> yeah, Thank my, you, Alan Bill, just saying, hey, Biffas, and great live, James, and what's up, Slappy? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Ali. Hello, Ali. Nasty. <laughs> Ali, is it Allieville? Allieville. Mm hmm. Thank you, Alvin, for supporting my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that super sticker or super check. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it, I was I was back there for like thirty minutes, and you know, Sir King was saying, "No, hold on, Slappy, I want you to come up, you know, at the right time or whatever." So I stayed back there waiting, and and I she ended up leaving because. Um, he said he'll talk to me, and so she ended up leaving or whatever. I, I get tired of her trying to control everyone's platform. Like, she is su just such an attention whore. It gets on my nerve. Listen, look at it this way, Slappy. What would have happened is the two of you all would have started yelling and screaming at each other again. That's all that was going to happen, because that's where that conversation had went. So it was a blessing in disguise. Let me see what Logan is saying here. I hate when people want to discourage us or make us feel guilty. They use their children as a tool to do so. Lil Nas X, do not raise anybody's kids. It's your responsibility to monitor what they watch. That is the truth. And that's the yeah. truth. Like I said, it was that double-edged sword because he had so many young fans when he first came out. But again, I don't know why that is that people have such a hard time letting the artists grow up. Because they the artists, they try to keep the artists as children and the, the folks that were their fans be that outgrown them and be gone, child. And and they be still trying to hold them in those little spots. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, she ain't leave because of me. 
<laughs> the oh. blame had to go on somebody D spot. <laughs> we saw it. Yeah, and the one part of that video I like is when um the angel comes. That looked so beautiful. And then it's um his body was like glistening, um, like his soul or whatever was glistening right. and stuff. It looked so beautiful. And you can see the shape of his bottom and everything. I said, my laughing, I'm going to mute. If you don't cut it out, <laughs> you got all hot and bothered behind the video. So I <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I saw that pole come in his hands. I said, what's going on? And then he started going to hell. I said, oh, my God, he's reliving my life. My <laughs> and he went to hell and started giving that damn devil the Satan that lap dance and then got up behind him and snapped his neck and took Ooh. the crown. I said, you better get it. You better get it. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Ooh, he seduced Satan and took, snapped his neck and took the crown. I said, mm -hmm. well, Ciao. <laughs> see, see, Ryan. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was listen, Keyshawna. Thank you, baby. Nubiology, Miss Nubiology. Oh, How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Food junkie, look up. <laughs> What's up, baby? How you doing? Can y'all hear me? Yes, ma'am. We can hear you. Yes. Hello. I'll just put it in. Um, the Little Nam song takes me back. I wrote a poem years ago called I'll Cut the Head Off the Devil and Throw It at You. My mother has floored me off of ever reciting it again publicly, but basically it was a lot of people in my family, the good Christians, and the way that they treated me because I was I was going to hell, I was damned and all of, all of these things, but I was looking at the lifestyle that they were living. So no, it wasn't about me being a Satan or into Satanism or even wanting to side with the devil. It was the anger of what are y'all going to do about y'all sin stuff? Like, I get it. You're supposed to be mm -hmm. operating out of love. I get that I'm wrong, but you're wrong too. So that was the whole premise of the I'll cut the head off of the devil and throw it at you. It was a way of taking my power back. Right. So I don't think I agree with you on the fact I don't think that he is into Satanism at all. I don't I don't agree with that. And as far as the kids thing goes, now you know I can only speak for me and all nine hundred of my children. But as they grew older and the world started, you know, getting a little loose, there were things and I've said that a long time ago. Like I don't want my kids to have to the thing I didn't want to do was have to have the conversation with my kids, but I understood that like everything else in life if you stay ready you don't have to get ready so i started getting out in front of things when my kids became a certain age and i just had to go ahead and have the conversation and not be a lazy parent they want to put it on entertainers and grandma in the church house and right. everything else to raise them i had to get ahead of these conversations and go ahead and have them with the kids so i agree with him i agree with little Niles on that he don't raise my children i do there you go. Right. I Listen, you know, we're usually, you and I are usually here, Nubiology. Oh. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I get it. And, and like I said, if I felt that he was worshiping elsewhere, I probably would feel differently. But right. at this present time, mm -mm. Right. And the imagery, it was it was a lot, but it was yeah. Oh, yeah. it was beautiful. You gotta give him that. It was artistic as hell. And it did shot when you first see it, when he said let's ride, I was like, What? <laughs> I was like, Oh, oh, okay. It was a lot. And look, and I can see this one over here about the bubble over. Really BTV, what's 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 up under the girl? Something's up in your crawl, honey. I can just see it. What? <laughs> What you about the box, Tanny? No. no. And that is the cream number two. I have just been really waiting my turn. That's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I guess my thing is this. I feel, I, I, I agree 100% with you, James. I feel like he's trolling. He knew 
what he was doing to get attention, to get marketed, to make money. But I also, I really, I really want people to separate. And I know for some people they can't, and that's fine. But I really want people to get away from that and listen to what he's telling you. He's telling you, and he said this, my whole life I was told I was going to hell because I was gay. Mm -hmm. Like he's trying to send a message to the heterosexual community about what we tell our kids and what images and what messages we send to our children. Now, I understand that for some people, y'all can't get away. You know, y'all can't get away from, oh, he's a devil, which I don't believe he is, but to each his own. I can't tell nobody what to think. But when you listen to the, the core of what it is that he's trying to say to us, I think we need to get the message and get away from, because of course he's slapping us in the face with it, because he's trying to get everybody's attention because being nice ain't work. People uh-huh. saying, hey, mama, daddy, you put me out the house because I told you I was gay and I lived on the street and I was violated and I was treated bad and I turned into a, you know, a prostitute. We ain't listening to that message. So maybe you'll listen to this message and you'll understand and you'll get the inner turmoil that a gay person goes through when they're trying to figure it all out and the world is telling them that they're all wrong. I find it interesting, and this is, I'm not coming at anybody in particular, but um, I think Pretty One was the one I just sent you the super chat, and his screen, his 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 avatar was Michael Jackson. I remember when they said the same thing about Michael Jackson with his video Thriller. They said the exact same thing about Thriller. Oh, it's devil worshiping. Oh, he's corrupting the children. They banned it from MTV for a minute. I mean, I remember that. So I feel like, I mean, and we grew up, you know, Michael Jackson. I don't think Michael Jackson turned me into a devil worshiper. I mean, I personally, I remember Madonna did it with the Like a Prayer video. I, I mm-hmm. been through this, <laughs> and I don't. Yeah, they banned Justify My Love altogether, honey. They right. yeah. been through this, you know. And so, I again, I'm not saying drop the link because that's not quite true. Okay, well, come on up. But I, I feel like for me. I guess that's why I'm not reacting that way. And I, I'm very, you know, faithful. I believe in God. I grew up in the church. But it just, it just, I saw the video and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, that's just my two cents. I'm done. FJ. Yo, what's up, James? Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm good. Thank you for, is it rain in there? Um, no, it's just um, going through some stuff right now. Back and forth, moving on. No, you're fine. It's fine. I just thought maybe it was raining. All right. Oh. I'm glad you came back. I'm so glad you came back. Well, we just had a brief discussion about this yesterday. Yeah. But <laughs> when I um, first heard about the video, I heard about it from Olivia Oracle through her um, live yesterday morning. So I was appalled before I even watched the video. But when I watched the video, I'm like, what are they talking about? It has nothing to do with anything. This is the conversation that people are having are so silly to me. And not saying that her conversation was silly or she's silly or it's not, but I think that this world in general is so full of so many hypocrites that people are double minded on subject or it's not just to have a conversation. I want to say to everyone who's so offended and so upset about the whole devil situation, y'all remember there was a commercial not too long ago, probably within this year, where there was this white lady with blonde hair. She was I, I think it was like Match.com. Her yeah. mm-hmm. match was the devil. Full fledged uh-huh. red, Lucifer, big horn, black nail, the devil. And they started alluding to a lot of stuff that they had in common. Mm-hmm. There was no outrage there. Then I also want to question you guys and ask you on Halloween when there's the sexy devil ladies' costume, there's the devil costume. Like, are y'all triggered then as well? I need people to stop pretending. To be offended, just have a conversation. Right. To be realistic. Because to me, it's a bunch of BS because that video has nothing to do with devil worship at all. And like I, and like I said yesterday, what's that? When I hear people are devil worshiping, I'm seeing torches, I'm seeing hooded figures, I'm seeing pentagons, I'm seeing, you know, saying crosses upside down, I'm seeing all kinds of different things, what's that? That's my imagery though, but, but that could just be me. To me, like I said yesterday, that conversation was, or he was having a conversation with that video about, you know what I'm saying, it was basically like, like, like um, you said, Jace, from the very beginning, when he said, y'all tell little kids, that's why people hide the worst parts of themselves. 
right. they're around now, but they're out. You know what I'm saying? They are free. They have this power now, what's not, and y'all still condemning them to go down the hill. Now, the conversation that I think that people are, what that you're having right now, but people have, didn't have, is the fact that why is he having this conversation? Why is this conversation being had by him in this way? What has he been through? What has he heard? What have people told him was not in order for him to feel that way? What do people tell little, young, um, letter people, because I don't know LGBTQIA people was not, what do they tell them to make them feel that way? Do they feel that way? Why not have that conversation opposed to trying to condemn someone and trying to say someone is full of uh, devil, devil worship and Satan, and Satanism was not? I think that the shield itself is just a part of a marketing tool. Yeah. That's all it is. It's, 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 a, it's a marketing point. Let's play off this and see how far we can go with this. Was not. Yes. Let's drop. Let's say there's a drop of blood. And where's the blood at? Is the blood in the lather? Is the blood in the coloring? Do y'all realize that in paintings, old paintings, there were blood in um, those paintings as well. Bone, crushed bones to make um, ivory and white and stuff like that. Do y'all like? I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking too far in advance and trying to use too much of my brain power to try to just, I guess, make myself be comfortable, I guess. But nothing about that video was even dark or disturbing to me. Not even with him twerking on up to the on red figure was not. Because I seen, like, like I said, there was a commercial on Match.com that had it, that had a commercial of, with a full-fledged devil. And they said his name was Lucifer. And no one, there was no outrage there. But now everyone be outraged. <laughs> and you hurt the kids. No one's hurting the kids. Like he said, it's not my job to raise your kids. It's your job. And I, and I, when you said that, was not, I wrote this exactly. responsible for what he put out. Exactly. Well, he was responsible for what you put out, was not. Who, who said he's not responsible, was not. He did, he, he's an artist. He's he not literally was little kids with the Old Town Road video, and now he's selling them on Satanism. What you mean, not responsible? Not responsible. Not responsible. You're not going to hold him back to what I was on seven years ago. Okay, James, can I say this real quick and then I'm gonna jump off. I let Miss Olivia say her piece. I just want to respond to what people are saying. My name was called, and I just want to know what was ridiculous about my video. Like I said, when I said it, I, I mean, was I mean, he was I mean, wrong for what he did. I mean, yeah. It's the That's imagery, I mean, it's the romanticization, it's the it's the it's the people <laughs> trying to cake for him. He my is responsible called. for what he did. And I also said you have your right for you to your opinion. Like I have my right to my opinion. I didn't say you were wrong. I'm not trying to argue with you on your opinion, but I am trying to um stand but firm I, on my stance because what you will not do is try to diminish no, what, what I do said because what I said was a fact. And I truly and believe that I wouldn't have said it. You know, what I mean you I don't mean no disrespect, but I feel like you're wrong for trying to uh, uh you know explain what he did away. You know, a lot of people are wrong for trying to explain it away because he's being irresponsible in his imagery. You romanticizing Satanism, whether he's a Satanist or not. What about the little kids that's taking them up on it and they're going to try to do that shit for real? What about that? He's responsible. Olivia, are you as are you as offended on Halloween when you see a bunch of devil costumes running around? Are you as offended as you are about this video? Yes or no? Well, you uh, no, uh, as, as, no, I'm not. I, honestly, I'm not because they don't have millions of followers, millions of young children followers following around. Oh my God! So I'm not. Devils are wearing. Children it's the wearing imagery. It's the romanticization of the thing. It's the whole thing is ridiculous. Even a fact. It's even a lie. Uh, telling these, uh, him telling himself that you can kill the devil. The devil has never been alive in the first place. You're going to snap the devil, snap the devil, snap the neck of the, the devil, devil. then you the devil. Really? Me, That's what we doing? Me, okay. It's power. ignorant as fuck. And I don't mind. Just and like I said right yesterday, right? I don't care who like, it's not cool to put that sort of stuff out there. You are romanticizing, nope. selling your soul That's away. See, we are here for a woman, but your soul is eternal. Whether you think the video is cute or not. Olivia, that is your opinion, was that? And my opinion is totally different. Right. Because you and had a problem with my opinion, you that's why I came up here to offend my stance. Because you absolutely have a right to your opinion, just like I do in mine. You didn't have to bring my name up about that because I take this subject seriously. And I wasn't making light of it yesterday. Right now, you are being so obtuse about what I just said. I'm not being obtuse, I'm being very direct because I mean what I say. Listen to what I said. 
the I first time what I you heard, said, and no, I only understood what you said. No, you, no I said the first time I heard about it. You didn't have to use was, my video as an example. I under, I respect the fact that you don't agree with it, but what I got to do with this panel? That's not why I used your name. Listen, <laughs> I said the first time I heard this conversation was on your video, and I went to go look at it myself. I didn't say you were um, crazy was now you were wrong. I heard it first from you is what I said. That's why I used your video. So stop acting like I'm attacking you because I'm not attacking you. I first used of all, you need to lower the app in no, your I'm, fucking no, voice. I, don't, I am not no, attacking. I'm not attacking. No, I'm not attacking. No, I do not. You no, need to take your no, app out of your not. voice because no, you're I not attacking me. me. So, you get in louder and louder because you're in your feelings. I want you to listen. Okay. I'm not, not, I'm not, not I am, at all. But still, you I can take you your. I listen. can't listen when you got that amp in your you voice. To what I'm saying, because you're up here because you said you think that I said something negative about you. I didn't say anything negative about you. What I mentioned your name. You is, said is negative. You, you felt negatively about my stance. What's the big deal? That's no, what you said. It's a very that. big deal. Like what you no, mean? No, What's I the big did. deal? I heard your the conversation first on your video, and I didn't understand it. I was upset because I was listening to what you were saying until I went to look at it myself, and I, I didn't understand why. Y'all were so upset. That's what I and said. I, I, I explained myself you. why I was upset. I didn't I explain myself. I didn't ask you for That's what you mean. I didn't I asked you for an explanation. That's what you don't understand. I don't care why you felt it. I said I felt a certain way before I saw it, and after I saw it, I felt differently. That's the whole point of me even right, mentioning that's you fine. Your video. Absolutely. That's you why I like you have to defend yourself for what reason. I'm not attacking you. I'm saying I just heard the conversation started from your video yesterday was not. And well, I thought you, were, you you know what? Uh, like I said, you can talk to me without take, keeping that app in your voice. Because well, we you cool or whatever, but that app thing, like, you don't, it don't bother me. Okay? You know, I mean, it's not you know, moving me in one way. I'm just saying. I'm not trying okay. to. Not trying to Olivia, to you know food junkie. Come on. y'all. <laughs> I'll let y'all get it out. But there's no real argument at all. Exactly. It's not well, no, argument. it's not a real argument at all. I just came up here to defend my stance. And you, you know good. what I mean? And you're good. You're good. But y'all, there's no argument. You know, you have a forceful tone, and so does Food Junkie. That's both. <laughs> so is y'all good, but it wasn't an attack. He definitely no, wasn't was attacking you. He was actually, he, what he was doing, he talked about your video. So now you got folks that's going to come from here that's going to go over and watch your video. So it's actually a good I mean, thing. I mean, if you already got your mind made up that this is just a troll, um, this is not a problem, uh, uh, that, you know, uh, the old town, what is the boy's name, can't raise your kids, you probably should not go over there and watch my video because I take a more, I, I take a more, uh, 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 a more, it, I, I'm coming from a esoteric frame of mind uh, because a lot of people don't realize. And then, you know, y'all love Lil Nas, and that's cool. I feel sorry for the little boy. Because, see, behind the scenes, they're giving him all that he want right now so that they can get in his pants. And he's 21 years old. Whatever he want, he getting right now because they satisfying him. They ain't doing nothing but using that little boy at the end of the day. And, and, and to, to, to fit their own agenda for their own sick needs. Why nobody ain't talking about that? James just said we're gonna have to save him. James just said that we're gonna have to save him was not. And my thing is this. That's ridiculous. Just to be honest, Little Nas X is not. I'm not his demographic. I don't listen to him. I don't watch him. I only know about him because I saw this conversation going on on your video, sweetheart. So he's not in my demographic. I'm. He's not in my. Um, and you know my name is not no goddamn sweetheart. You know my name, food junkie. Don't play me like it. I call everyone sweetheart. You know I do that. You, you ain't never called me sweetheart, but don't call me like I'm some basic bitch on here. Don't do me and, like it. Oh, That's disrespectful. Well, everyone knows I call everyone sweetheart. Yes or no? Oh, I'm, I'm not fucking I'm with him because he's fucking with me. <laughs> Cut that out. One now, good time to another. I'm gonna say that. Another. I'm I'm just just you already know better. No, right along. To think that I wouldn't go and watch your video because your stance is totally different than mine. I would absolutely go watch the video. Well, I mean, I, know, I don't want nobody watching my video and, oh, no, and misunderstanding what it is that I'm trying to say. Because let me just watch. finish this, James. My concern is not 
for any of us older people. My concern is the fact that, okay, you said, look, now he's probably not even a Satan worshiper or whatever, right? But what right. about That's those kids that don't want to take him seriously and they want to emulate him, emulate him? Do you realize that you can literally be tricked up out of your soul? Like nobody thinking about that? Don't nobody care? I mean, hey, to each his own, but uh, hey, okay. That's what your video okay, is. Okay, it's a cute right? video, Ed. And again, see now I'm 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 not there. I'm not there. And I and I understand what you're saying. I do understand what you're saying, but the the that as far as videos go, kids that little should not even be watching that video. But but you know, you, you can't watch your kid 24 hours, even if you put a child lock. Uh, and there uh, is on, there's, there's, on your there's, on your explicit lyrics see, on everything. This video, right? They don't. They not even. They, they didn't even put a, a a thing on it. A parental advisory on it. Did you think about why they didn't do that? Uh, Spiller boy, why is there not a parental advisory on that? On what the video? Yeah. Yeah, because there should be an explicit seal on the the um. The song and the video. In my opinion, they should. That's a bit much for his old his his old town road followers. You know that old town road song was on a video game. That's how he, he got a lot of young people to follow him. The first time I heard of a, the the old town road song was on a video that one of my nephews was playing. That's the first time I heard the song. You know, so they they could at least put a parental advisory on it. All I'm saying is that I don't, I don't think it's cool to downplay. We as adults, we can discern, um, you know, fiction uh, from reality. You know what I mean? We as adults know that. No, he probably don't worship Satan. Yeah, he probably trolling people. You know, but it's for the fact that they put him out there to do dirt, dirty work. Because a lot of the we're gonna act like we didn't, look at look at what happened to Whitney Houston. We gonna sit up and act like Whitney. We didn't watch Whitney Houston go from. Uh, a woman with an amazing gift to, you know, probably, you know, well, being overcome by drugs, but I, I think she was killed in the bathtub, but I can't even say, you know, overdosing in the bathtub. But still, we saw her from that to that. And it's happened for a lot of uh, a, a lot of uh, actors and entertainers. Look at somebody like, you said Michael Jackson. Look what happened to Michael Jackson. I don't even think he was, he died of whatever he post died of. I think he was killed because he got the masters to his thing. The same thing like Prince. They chew us up and they spit us out. And they're not even trying to hide. They, for a couple Years. I've seen two performances by Nicki Minaj at the Grammys doing whole sex rituals, esoteric sex rituals on stage in front of millions of people and people not even knowing what they're looking at. You didn't see that at the Grammys because Nicki Minaj didn't perform at the Grammys. I, I ain't saying this year. I've seen two performances in the past of her doing these sex not rituals. The last, the last, the last ritual at the, not the, the, the musical awards. You're is talking it, about is Beyonce. The Grammys? Or Olivia, you're talking about Beyonce. I'm not talking about Beyonce. Whatever okay. musical awards, the music, whatever you call the musical awards, last year, that 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 was a, a, a sex ritual between Megan and Cardi B the last time. It's See, sometimes funny, this like, song is called Wet Ass Pussy. It is about sex. That's the whole song. Uh, yeah. I know. The song is called I, Wet Ass yeah, Pussy. And, and, and I'm looking at this... Um, it's, it's sex. That's what the song oh, wait is about. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. It's the ritual oh, part of it. Now, I did look at the um, the video doesn't have an explicit lyric seal, and the song don't, but it should. Now, it should actually have that, but again, that's not good. It doesn't I change. Think it, should. it doesn't change my stance on it. It's not Geared, it's not geared for kids. I mean, I grew up on, I grew up on the walk doesn't either. I pulled that, that didn't mean I was gonna go out to the police. So, the walk doesn't either. Well, anyway, I just came up here to defend my video. People gonna believe what they believe. Uh, it don't matter what I say, but I, you don't, you don't have to, like, like, you know, I mean, it's cool. I just want to come up and uh, really go back and forth with Food Junkie because he mentioned my video, and my video is what it is. Everybody got well, a right now, to believe. Now, Olivia. What they believe. Olivia. Olivia. You listening? No. Huh? Are you listening? Now, you and John Food Junkie got that all straight out. You should say thank you to him for mentioning your video because now you're going to get some people to go over and watch the video because I'm saying why they're not going to understand it. If you're going to be dumb as fuck, they're not going to understand it. Don't watch my video. Don't do that. 
Don't Stop mean, doing that. Because just don't? because you don't agree, don't mean you don't understand. Hey, it's because people don't agree. Oh, yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you don't want to say. I just don't want no dumbass shit on my goddamn channel. I don't need the negative energy. I don't need it. I don't want it. It's not welcome. Bye. I don't have that kind of people. The reality is this: a, a different perspective about something that is said is healthy. When you can't understand or, or ascertain that someone have a different perspective to, of you, but not attacking you, to me that's the issue. We all want to have our opinions, but yet when someone has a slightly different opinion of, of ours than ours, we want to sit here and attack and defend. There's no need to defend. I don't say anything wrong. I said I heard it and saw it first over there. Right, you I, 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 I was upset initially because I heard the conversation they was having. Then I went to go look at it myself, and I, I felt totally different. Not saying they were wrong in their feelings. You have a right to feel the way you feel. Your feelings are valid. What you said is valid for you. I took on that energy initially, and then when I went to go check it out myself and do my own research and put my own thought processes on through it, not, I didn't feel that way. That's why I asked the question to everybody, not just to Olivia, but to everybody. Are you, are you aware of that Match.com commercial where the devil, Lucifer, was actually one of the people's picks? Are you as offended or as uh, feeling triggered on Halloween when you see children themselves de dressing as devils, when you see women dressing as sexy devils, when you see men in devil costumes, when the devil is all around you? That day in itself, are you as offended as you are by this video? Was that Are you trying to save the children during Halloween or are you handing out candy? That's all I want to I want people to be honest with themselves. Well, that's kind of why I came up here. I was going to say, let me give If y'all can hear me. I actually can't no, see some me. people, yeah. so I can't hear everybody. But I did come up here to speak on that aspect because nobody's really talking about that part. Um, I can't hear you, James. I see you talking, but I can't hear you. Okay, but, I can um, hear you. I look at this whole situation from a completely different aspect. Than a lot of people. Yeah. And with Nas' situation, I wasn't looking at it because he was gay. I wasn't looking at it because I thought he was a Satanist. I was really looking at it from the aspect of if, okay, you put this imagery out there. So if it seems like you must be like a, um, a believer of some sort for you to yeah. put that kind of energy out. I mean, to put that imagery out of me. And so my concern was, why even allow that into your space if you oh, do yeah. think these types of things are real, you know? And so also with that, it was like, I felt like, why put that stigma, even though I understand the people that are saying when it comes to um, how people have, Christians have told the LGBT community, like, you're going to hell, this, this, and that. For some reason, it still doesn't sit well with me that you would um, still present it and accept it when there's us that don't feel that way. Why Why what? accept that onto your life? Like, you don't have to. I understand that some people are putting that on you, but all of us don't believe you're going to hell because you choose to sleep with who you want to. Jesus, when we learned about Jesus. He looked at the heart. You know what I'm saying? And so I didn't want, when I was looking at it, I'm like, I don't want the gay community to start saying oh well we are going to hell so you know we might as well embrace it because all of us don't feel that way you know what i'm saying like yeah. i don't look at them and be like oh you're going to hell and i get that people are saying he was trolling but he put a, he's putting the negative aspect on his own community which i don't think is fair to you guys and then he's kind of just like accepting it and owning it and taking it in when you really shouldn't and you don't necessarily know what entities you could be bringing into your life. Does that make sense? Me, I hear what you're saying. I agree with some of what you're saying, but yeah. and, um, so, see, can I I'm already here and mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't buy into the you're going to hell. So right. him doing the video... Somebody said he's not putting a, a negative aspect, but in reality, the comments were literally saying, this is why y'all are going to hell, this, this, and that, and why are you accepting it? This is exactly why. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, don't don't make the, the, the people that are claiming they're Christians, those extremists, don't make them have more reason, you know, because it's already hard for us Christians that aren't trying to have that evil stigma on us. And so now it's like more of them those extremists that already hate y'all community 
are going to take that and be like, yeah, this is exactly what we were talking about in the first place. You know? Like, you know what? Oh, they're going to say all that stuff anyway. If they see two men holding hands, they're going to say, oh, y'all going to hell, y'all going to burn to hell. If they see two men kissing, they're going to say the same thing. But my thing is this. Little Nas X don't speak for me. Right. You don't speak for a lot of grown right. as gay people was not. And I'm tired of people thinking that one gay person has the voice for all gay people was not. James and I are both gay. Both black, both men. We think differently. Gay, James lives his life as a gay black man one way. I live my day, my life as a gay black man another way was not. And James does not speak for me. I know people come, go to him as the go-to person on YouTube for all gay um, knowledge was not. But James does not speak for me no matter how knowledgeable he is. James has not walked in my shoes and nor have I walked in James' shoes. So what James thinks and how James articulates his um, experiences as a black gay man is sometimes totally different as how I um, experience and speak on my experience as a black gay man. So I'm tired of people thinking that all gay people are monolithic. We're not all one person. We don't all have one voice. We don't all have one thought. Right. So therefore, Lou Nas X does not speak for me. Food junkie speaks for food junkie. If food junkie says to see something was not, and I agree with it was not, I agree with it. If I don't, I don't. I don't take it in. I take it personal and think that I'm speaking for every gay black man in America or in the world because I don't. I know that. And it's sort really, of to me, I'm an artist as well. So I see his artistry in what he did and what he wrote and what he said. I, everything that James said today, I caught yesterday when I watched that video for the first time. I watched it about 10 times, but the first time I heard it, I, I, like James said, the more you listen to it was that, the more you get from it. I caught the fact that he said that he, uh, the people that he talked about said he wants to fuck. I talked about, I caught the thing when he talked about um, when your girl's not here, call me up, I'll be there. I caught all those things the first time because as an artist, I look at the artistry and the imagery and, and try to think, of, oh, how would I have done that differently or how would I have done that was not? And I understand from the Garden of Eden from being seduced by the serpent by being a fallen angel. And then at the end of the video, he became an archangel because once he took over, he had his wings and his eyes glow. And that's, that's, that's the imagery of an archangel was not. So my thing is, I see all of that. I'm not, I'm not denouncing anyone's opinion or belief i'm saying that it's just not mine absolutely i don't like you know i don't honestly that whole thing that just happened i don't know and i understand because it's a lot of people who they have these angry emotions towards it i'm not angry about yeah. what Lil Nas did i'm concerned but that's because of my belief system you know so i'm concerned with what the mindset was when you put this out there and that's where I'm coming from with this. I don't really, I'm not sitting here up in arms and stuff like that because it's oh, no, at the end of the day, it's not my the, place. The but pill. you know, I'm a I'm a peaceful person. You know, I, I want people <laughs> to all love each other and everything. <laughs> so I'm just looking at. I it just match energy. I just match energy. If, if energy is aggressive for me, I'll be aggressive towards the energy. If, if energy is love and peace, I'll be love and peace towards the energy. But my thing is this: like I said, it wasn't. I'm not attacking anyone. Everyone has the right to feel what they feel, and everything you feel is valid for you. But you can't right. push that exactly. on anyone else. Period. That's anyone and everyone. That's including myself. I'm very yeah. introspective Fact. about who I am and what yeah. I say. This I is the. This is the. The, the 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 way this goes. Everybody knows Olivia. Olivia is hot. That's she's a hot button. So <laughs> it, that's, that's Olivia. Olivia's fine. She got you know she got angry. She clicked the button off and she went. But I promise you, Olivia's sitting on the side. Olivia's fine. That's she's her. Laughing. She's man, laughing. She's laughing. Laughing. She ain't mad with food junkie. Food junkie ain't mad with her. I they know. both. They he do match energy and she has she's a hot fine. button with things. That's just Olivia. You know, she I, James, can I just say this? And I'm getting ready to go. I know you got some people waiting. Just real quick. I just want people, I, I, I want people to like process what I said and not, like I wasn't saying Michael Jackson did the same thing Lil Nas X did. What I'm saying is they said the same thing about Michael Jackson the because way. of the video. 
Like y'all, y'all take y'all taking it so literal. I'm not saying Michael Jackson was was a lap dance and the devil. I'm saying hey, you grew up in that era. You remember all yep. of the like they took his video mm -hmm. off of MTV. Yep. Like you remember, kid parents were talking about, oh my gosh, what about the kids? Yep. What is he doing to the kids? And as a as someone who deals with children all day long, y'all really have to stop expecting society to raise your children. It is not Lil Nas X's um, responsibility. It's not my responsibility. It's not Charles Barkley, if y'all remember that commercial from the 90s yep. responsibility. We're not here to raise your children. We're just yep. not. And he has a right as an artist to put out artist. whatever he wants to put out. And the same thing with Cardi B and WAP. Okay, is it explicit? Yes. Well, then don't let your kids watch it. And you know what you can do? You can pay attention to what the fuck your kids are doing. Speak. Are you going to catch everything? Yeah. No, you're not. But if you raise them with your value system, then all you can do is prey on the rest. I grew up on fuck the police and cop killer. Do you okay. think that means it's okay for me to go out here and kill the police? No, I know better. But that was my favorite song. I'm you done. know what really yeah. TV and on top of that, that was her as favorite a kid, song. Really? As a kid, <laughs> right. Yes, and as a kid, and bump and grind was mine. And I'm no, a kid. Right. So let's just talk about it. but even at that, with with all of the the um what do they what do they put the labeling that they put on it to let you know hey this is gonna be graphic material with all of that please understand remember what we did as kids we still found a way to see whatever in the hell we wanted to see yeah yeah, yeah. and it's not our job to raise anyone's kids at all like the last last woman who got on and got upset like that is part of the problem like if someone doesn't agree with you you pitch a fit and get upset and that's not okay like gay people have a different experience like i don't think straight people understand that they are the minority in this world to where that if if we don't follow the direction and, and and honestly in order to feel comfortable in this world we have to follow their rules to some extent just like with they, they keep talking about like the whole children thing again it's not our job to raise your kids and if your kids don't find you to be a role model that's your problem that's not ours it's not our fault that your kids follow little nas x maybe they identify with them maybe you should worry about that maybe you should think about that like it, it's 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 so irritating that like straight people can do anything they want to do and get away with it within two days, but as soon as a gay person does something, it's like big news. Big a, a gay person. And then like when you end up like doing something like it's not acceptable to be to home be, to be homophobic, but instead of being homophobic, you can go to it's about the kids. I don't give a shit about your kids. They're not my. They're not my problem. Mm -hmm. They're not wow. my problem. They're not his problem. Wow. Get over it. Period. Can I, like James, it's crazy. Uh, can I? I want to say something real, real quick. Uh, I've been holding for a, a, a little while. Um, everybody. Uh, I haven't seen the video. Um, I just saw clips of it, and I've been hearing what people been saying. But my concern is not really more the video. It's more so the panel that followed up the video and it's like what Same. what what are you saying here you saying something you got to be saying something and i've always been under the impression of if it walks like a duck it quacks like a duck then it's a duck well what's wrong with him serving satan if he chooses to do that not every religion needs to be christian everybody qualified him as a devil worshiper and what's wrong with that that's, that's what's been said for years i say things wrong i said people say it now the thing of it is, he didn't get all in arms about it because he knew when you when you put imagery out there like that, that's what's going to be said about you. So little Nod, when you put that out there, he should have expected that's what's going to be said about him because that's what you're portraying. You can't be upset when people say something and that's the image you're putting out. Now, especially for black people, we don't like stuff like that. If we, if, if there's no secret for black people. Things like that, we're kind of afraid of it. It's not, it's not a, a right or a wrong. That's just the way it is. Let's not act like we don't know this about our culture, about but black your people. Fear is not his problem. What you're afraid of no, is not no, his no. problem. Wait, wait, I'm not, I'm not done. I want to say what everybody's saying. Well, it's not his responsibility. It's, it's a thing of, with the community. It's like it takes a village to raise a kid. If you're not going to help, then why hurt? 
No, they may not care be about your kids. kids. If, if, if it's not, if it's not, if it's not your kid, but at the end of the day, they all are kids. Because no, they're not. A kid, because a kid, a, a hurt kid is going to grow up to be one and a hurt adult. It's a and video. You have to deal with it's that. just we a video. Have to deal with that. This is why we have all of these adults out here doing things because they were hurt as children and they have unaddressed issues because nobody gives a shit. Everybody says, so a video is going to hurt your kids. Alive. Right. Nobody gonna hurt your kids? A what? video is going to hurt your kids? You said he what? A video is going to hurt what your kids. What does it have to do with no, the I'm, not I'm saying it's the imagery that is portrayed. You for a child, I like the license. It's for a child. They cannot perceive what's the difference in reality. Uh, but, but if, 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 if he serves, when, serves when, serves when heterosexual them. adults tell gay children that we're going to hell, that what we're doing is wrong, we're living in sin and all of that, is that not hurting the gay children? Yeah, I can. I of course it is, and that's not right either. But two rights don't make a wrong. I understand. You oh. understand what you're saying? I don't. I don't consider that right either. A child is a child. I'm not the one who talks to children like that. Because me personally, I don't care who sleep with what. It's not my business. As long as you don't do it in my house, I have no issues with it. No, whatsoever. Just because that's, someone that's is gay when we're children no. doesn't mean so, that sleeping me, around. To me, a child is a child. I don't care whether it's a gay. A straight child, a child is a child, and all kids need love. So, so why, why is, so what does that have to do with Lil Nas X? Because he decides to display his art that so happened your child might see. That's not his responsibility. That is something that straight people seem to have a big Why? He didn't sign up for that. Whatever you put out here to you, it's an energy. Whatever you put out into That's this not world, it's problem. It's Yes, Why is it that the heterosexual community only thinks about the children when it comes to what gay people are doing? Because that's all every time someone is gay, gay it's all the children, you know, all the children. It's a gay or straight. I would feel this way if it was a straight artist. I felt this way about Marilyn Manson, and he's supposed to be straight, but who knows really? He is. Straight. But what is what does white. sexuality have to do with anything when it comes yeah. to the? But it's it it all it only you comes up with gay it. artists when it's because that's the only time that it comes up something homosexual. I, I then it's about all the children. For me. I'm gonna say I'm, this, but I'm, gonna I'm just saying for me because I'm a type of person I like to live in light. That's just me. That ain't everybody. So I don't like to dwell in dark things. To How do you me, know Satan is not light? The imagery he portrayed was dark. So for me, I can't handle that. You know what I'm How saying? Satan is not light. He's a bringer of light. How do you know he's not light? How do I know? Because. How do you know? What was, your, what was your teeth in those well, like you said. well, I just I just told you I didn't see the video. I'm talking about that. For me, it was a satanic apparel that he's putting on. That's what, what it was for me. What was your it teaching on Satanism, that. though? That's, That's what I'm asking. He's, what, what, I'm what, sorry? Is, what is your teaching on Satanism? What is my? I don't have a teaching because that's not something. So I how believe. do you how can you make a educated guess on something you know nothing about? How am I making an educated guess? I'm just, I'm just I'm just sitting here saying. That's what I'm saying. And I can have that right. And, 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 I, and, and sister, I don't. And sister, I don't want you to feel attacked. I'm not attacking you no, at I'm, all. I don't feel attacked. We go. Yeah. We just have a difference of opinion. I just, I just feel like for me, it was dark, and I have a right to feel that. But what makes you feel? What What exactly have you learned about Satanism that makes you feel I, that it's dark? It's the way my spirit feels, and I go with my spirit. If my okay. spirit don't feel settled, is this your spirit or is what everyone else is saying? Because you said you didn't see the video, so are you going off of the, the majority? <laughs> my spirit did not feel it felt heavy it don't it don't yeah. feel i can i can totally see what you're saying because did you grow up christian no i didn't grow up christian. I, I, didn't. Spiritual. I have a spiritual relationship i don't have because uh, uh that's religious to me i don't do religion oh oh we're in the same boat great okay I, I totally, I, and I can identify what you're saying because I do think there is a hidden negative energy with that video. Now, yeah. I have to, I have to comfort, I have to have his back though, because a lot of times in our community, straight people find a way to attack us in some way from a fashion. 
So I, I totally understand what you're saying. There's a dark energy with what that video represents. I will agree with you on that. But I still have to like ask questions and see where people's mindset is because a lot of times we get like God is right all the time and that's all that matters and his word is what counts regardless if he's sending me to hell or not for just being alive. You know what I mean? Like I don't think I don't think people take in the recognition that being told you're going to hell just for being alive is no, I don't, yeah. right. You know? I agree so, with that. So a lot I of agree us with get, that. a lot of us get, a lot of us get offensive. It, when you're told as a young age, like you guys, we as gay people, we learn rejection at a very early age. We learn that we are not enough very, very quickly. So mm -hmm. I understand that it can be frustrating when you're trying to convey your opinion and we're conveying ours and it's this disconnect. But I need you guys to understand that we have been oppressed longer than African Americans. Let's, let's just be clear. And that's a topic that not a lot of people want to talk about. It's like being black is not a choice, but being gay is a choice. No. Who in the heck is a gay black man would want to be gay? It is not fun. It is not nice. We do not enjoy this lifestyle. But right. that is that is a conception of a lot of straight black people. So it, it, it we we are on guard all the time because I, and I understand that because I have I have gay family members that I support one hundred percent because to me people are people. I love people. That's, yeah. that's that's the energy I have. I can and I but can feel to, that. You mean yes, no harm. I love people. None, none at all. I love people. And that's what I say. As long as you're not doing it in my house, I don't give a shit. I don't. So but, well, well, don't say as long as you're not doing it in your children. house. If you're gonna say that, you need to say that to your your daughters and your your straight um well, heterosexual. I think, I think that's just well. don't that's just standard. say practicing homosexuality. That's, no, I mean, that's standard I mean, though. I mean, oh, yeah, you're you're it. referring to sex. Then you need to I'm say sorry. that to your heterosexual children as well. Don't just say. I think that's because someone is homosexual. I can fuck a chick in my, my house. And, and I can I can have sex with a woman or a man in my parents' house. That's just out of respect. So I think that's just standard. I don't think that's, right. that's standard. That. Anybody, I don't want nobody having sex in my house. And that thing me. Hell no. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Boys, huh? <laughs> but I will, ma'am. I will um, encourage you to go watch the video that um, no, I'm not Killer Boy was referring to. No, I'm just I'm, saying I'm because not, I'm not interested. It's nothing that yeah, I would be gotta, interested. I'm not talking about. That's fine. She has to protect her energy. Like I, I totally get where she's coming from because I'm the same kind of way. Like she has to protect her energy. I wasn't. I wasn't talking about that video. I was talking about the video that Little Nas spoke on. <laughs> what he was referencing in the video. I, 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 I mean, but to, I in her defense, she, I'm not interested. But she, can do but she, she, she also said that the video wasn't her concern, though. It was the, the actual the part, product. Exactly. When he followed it up. Because, with, I mean, in reality, when I saw the clips of the video, I mean, I was like, okay, he's twerking on Satan. And I was like, uh. <laughs> but I didn't actually really feel like, okay, what are you doing until I saw the shoe. That is really now, the, I was shoe, like, the shoe was much. Now that is all another story. But nobody's speaking about that. Everybody is up. I'm talking about the well, I mean, wait, the drop wait, of blood wait, wait, or whatever. To me, that that made uh, that's satanic. I guess uh, it was just to like, me. What? But he's just. I still think that he's trolling. The shoe was a bit much. Angelina Jolie did it when she was married, when she had the, the blood and the amulet and all of that stuff. But, that but was to foolish. me, all that but, is gimmicky. If you have to do all that, you don't have real talent. I just don't like gimmicky people. Like, but I, but it's not that he doesn't have real gimmicks. talent. He wouldn't have been where he's at if he didn't have real talent. We're not going to diminish what he's done because the video and his artistry was real. So the fact they that you just said that, it's a tomato, tomato. No, you, you, you call it. It's not tomato, and, tomato. And, and let me ask you this: Is like, okay, for example, say, uh, you know, Satanism was the predominant uh, religion. Uh, you know, Christianity is predominant religion, especially in America. So, like, why is it your religion seems to be more important? Well, not your religion, because you're not you're not Christian. I'm sorry, but Christianity. Why is that so pushed upon? And like Satanism is looked upon as so bad when the, most people that have an issue with Satanism don't know shit right. about it. Well, it's because me. of the teachings, right? I, I agree. Because of what I mean, we were trying. That's, I mean, just like the, that's like the good and bad. Like to me, it's it's like you don't need a book to, like the girl to, be, a, uh, to, be, to be a good to be a good person. Just be a good human being. Yes, the book to instruct you how to be a good person. That's yes. it. 
That's yeah, it. I totally agree. I know how to treat people, and I want to be treated in kind. If you put that energy out to me, you should receive that back. Whatever energy yeah. you put out here, that's what you receive back. It's just that simple, and that's the law of the universe to me. And that's I what I want to tell me that I'm a Christian. So you know, from my perspective, you know, we Uh-oh. have a certain teaching about um, Satan, but. I posed the whole question on the blogs when they asked why people were bothered and said, if you are a spiritual person, period, you want to take religion out of it, take religion out of it. If you are a spiritual person, if you believe in mediums, if you believe in tarot reading, if you believe in anything that has to do with spirituality, this figure across the board Mm -hmm. has always been somebody that is evil. Has always the, the demons are real if you believe in spirituality and you believe in demonic energies. Why would that not strike you as strange when you see that kind of symbolism and see somebody almost basically promoting that? You don't want to talk about you know the actual yeah. rel- religion part of it. Cool. Then let's talk about spirituality because Christians still believe in spirituality at the end of the day. You know. Well, I, I believe. I well, believe he already that, uh, he already spoke on that. He already spoke on that part of the video. I believe that, That's why uh, I was trying to get this lady to go watch Zachary's video because he explained the story in the video. Is 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 oh, trying to change humanity? Video. Zachary they, Campbell they, they, actually they, did a video in a new age. Interviews. That's what I was. Um, that's what I was talking about. That's what was talking about. He interviewed with Little Nas. And can we get away from this Christianity versus whatever? Because a lot of, I don't, for some reason, heterosexual people like to feel like just because we're gay that we didn't grow up in church as well. Exactly. Like we're not Christians and all of the right. things, that all, all of the above. <laughs> yeah, but so we've been we told we're going to hell. So. As a Christian, because Miss Thing that was on here earlier, um, she said she had a Christian pr- perspective, but she was the first one to cut somebody out on the panel. Exactly. That is the biggest problem with Christianity I see is that they're the biggest hypocrites. They will they will cuss you out, call you names, gossip about you. But- and I'm not saying that, you know, nobody's above being cussed out because, you know, that's a whole nother topic. But <laughs> don't come on here and, you know, um, uh, Food Junkie was trying to explain himself. And then you get mad and defensive when he was trying to explain what he said to get you out of your feelings. And you start loud talking to him and don't get mad when he, you know, at his rebuttal. Girl, that's a whole nother subject. But anyway, so my thing is with the whole video, I didn't see an issue with it. When I watched his interview with Zachary uh, Campbell, he explained what it was. And Zachary asked him, he was like, so when people say that you're, a part of the Illumin- uh, Illuminati or getting inducted into the Illuminati, this and that, that, that or whatever. How do you, per- you know, what is your take on that? And he explained all of that in that interview. That's why I was trying to um, tell the lady that, um, what's her name, Gil? That Gil was talking to. Um, oh. You know, because he explained that he was basically saying, you know, what we were saying earlier about people um, damning the gays to hell and this and that and that or whatever. So that's why he was like, well, you know, you all were saying that we're going to hell. So, bitch, when I get there, I'm going to rule it. I'm going to take over it and I'm going to be the best at it. And I don't think that he's a devil worshiper or any of the things. I just think that he's a young kid having fun. He's coming into his own. He's just having fun. That's all I thought when I saw the video, I was like, okay, he's same thing with Missy Elliott, how she does these weird videos and all of the things he's exploring his artistry. Just because he took it a step further and had the actual character there, he's playing all of these different characters. It's no different from Eddie Murphy, Mark Lawrence, or, you know, whatever, when they make their movies and videos and all the things. He's just having fun. I think everybody's taking it too literal. They're taking it too far, looking too deep into it. Now the shoes, I ain't gonna speak on that because that that's, that look, kind of threw me off. But the video, I didn't see nothing wrong with it to be honest. I thought it was hot. I thought it was very artistic. It was well thought out, well put together, all of the things. So I don't know. I just think everybody's up in arms for no reason. Yeah, 
over the video. I want to ask everyone, how many of you guys know African gods? Say that again. I want to ask you guys, how many of you guys know African gods? No. None. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I don't. I, I know I know they choose to believe yeah. in, but I, know I don't names. necessarily I know their names, but I don't well, subscribe to it because I don't I'm believe it. I ask I that because you know, we have Christianity, we have spirituality, but none of you seem to know the origins of our people's faith from Africa. Right. And I think we should take that into accountability as to why don't many African Americans know their religious history of their culture? Because of their white slave and, man. And we're so concerned with Jesus Christ. <laughs> And Allah and all this other stuff, but what did your ancestors serve? Like we have to think about these things sometimes. Like we're so caught up in devil and God and all that other stuff, but most cultures serve more, more than one God, and it's not. It's never talked about in our community like that. All we talk about is Jesus Christ, and we have people who are the most unchristian people saying they're Christian just as a, as a scapegoat. It's like, oh, I'm going to say I'm a Christian just because I just all I know. People become Christian when it's convenient. I mean, but just because I mean, like, if I look at Moses and I look at um, the Egyptian gods and things like that, who I do believe that there were entities that had, you know, these different powers because God, we have these spirits where if we actually walk in our spiritual man, we have certain things that we can do. So, do you, you know, there were probably though? like we have a spirit man. So there are things that we can tap into with our spirit man that we can do. Now, we can't do the things that it says in the Bible that they probably could do a long time ago because, you know, we've, we're so far gone. This is this is come from my perspective, mm. my belief. But. So when it comes to like the Egyptian, um, Egyptian gods and stuff like that, right? I don't necessarily sit here and say that there weren't these people that had were able to do, you know, things throughout their through spirituality. Yeah. But I, but I worship and serve God. That is my one true God. So when you're saying like, you know, where do we look at where our origins come from? I'm pretty sure you know that there were different types of people who were able to do certain things because I believe that God was, we all have that type of stuff within us, yes. you know, but I do not subscribe to those guys because I believe that my God is the one and true God. Now I'm not taking away from nobody. Why? Else. If that's what you but want. That's because that's what, then we're that's what you want to do. But why do you believe I, that? I mean, I left the church when I was 13 years old. I went and did my own research and found my own relationship. I'm not going to let anybody change my relationship that I found for me. Yeah, That is my choice. Nobody right, can take me and steer me. No, I'm not saying y'all are. I'm just saying nobody's going to steer me away from that. But. Why? What made you make that choice? What happened? Because I felt like I had my connection when I did my studying and when mm -hmm. I went to find what my faith was. Then I found what I believed in, and I believed that Jesus was my Lord and Savior. That's what I. Ch that's what I chose. Mm. And so I'm. I'll sit in any room. <laughs> I don't care what room it is. I don't care because I will sit with a, a Muslim. Yeah. I will sit with an atheist. I will sit with anybody the same way Jesus did because that's what I believe and that's who I want to follow. Okay, Does that makes sense. Yeah, it's nothing that's, wrong why, that's that. why I can sit on this panel with people who have different types of um, beliefs than I do and still be confident in where I stand because right. that's mm -hmm. who I'm following. Yeah. But unlike the, the lady that, that was on here earlier, you kindness have maturity. As long as you treat you know, people but, with kindness and love, like what you believe is irrelevant. As long as you treat people with kindness and love, that's the root of like religion should always be be nice. Just be nice. And that's facts. <laughs> Just be nice. I, Just I definitely be nice. <laughs> and that's energy. Because I'm always nice. I'm always nice until I'm and not. You can't even say treat people like you want to be treated because half these hoes can't treat people with kindness. No way. Just treat people with respect and just go on about your day. Well, a lot of people in America, especially, come from broken realities. 
to where we live, honestly, impoverished, especially as black Americans. We live in a very difficult, broken life with broken homes, broken home, like just everything. We come from struggle and we cannot expect people to give love when they've never experienced love. When they've never had it. We That's cannot. why I was like, you can't treat, you can't tell people to treat people like they've been treated. Yeah, because like they, they can like, treat like shit because they treated. Treat them right. like shit. Mm-mm, don't treat me how you uh, grew up. No. Yeah. Treat me what we're saying. <laughs> yeah, in my uh-huh. experience, I, I learned my, I, I've become awoken because of meditation and shrooms and just being a more elevated conscious member of society to where my whole entire reality changed to where I just treat people with kindness. I give because I can, and I love because I can. I do not speak ill, I do not be mean, I do not go out my way to be a dick just because I may have a bad day. And I think that's something that a lot of humans need to understand, like, just because you're going through something, you can do the work to figure it out, but don't mistreat someone else because you're having a bad day. Be nice, you know? And it's, it's one of those things that, like, again, with a lot of uh, people with faith, they're talking about, you know, we're worried about the children, but are you really worried about the children? Because, you know, it, it's it's. What if you have a gay child, but you don't know? They're they're worried about it when it's convenient, when it's something involving us. That's why I was like, every time it's something involving a homosexual or anything, oh the children, oh the what was me, oh my child is in danger. No okay, girl. hold up. Excuse me. I, I have that's that's why I'm in here. Hello, everyone. Hey, baby. Do you have you children, doing? cousin Faith. No. Until you have a child, you, you may want to stop saying things like that. Because I I just had a child uh, last year. Until you have a child, those things that you're saying. So is your one-year-old child in danger because of the homosexual? I, hold on. Don't cut me off. Let me go. You cut I'm me off. I'm not saying she's in danger. What I'm saying is she's my child, but I have a nephew who was a fan of Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X visited elementary schools and performed. His, he had a fan base that consisted of children. So as a parent, you don't know what that is or what that feels like to have to one have a conversation you may have not been ready to have with your child about certain things. Two, deter take your child away from this like this video he has out now. Nobody, most most people, like you guys are saying, most people are Christians. They're not gonna want their child to even be exposed to such. So until you have a child, you really can't. Oh, that you know, it's only when they affect their child. It's only when they affect their kid. You don't have a child, so you don't know what what that feels like to protect a person. In a I way have godchildren, and what's that? So I do have godchildren, but to what you're saying, every artist grows up. Beyonce was singing something totally different from now. Do you think that children still don't follow her when she was singing about partition? I'm when saying, she's a married I'm woman not, singing about her I'm husband. I'm not here to debate with you about that. What I'm saying is exactly what I said. When you're a parent, well, that's the same it's thing. A different, it's a different. It's. Uh, I'm not. I'm not excusing. Artists. Me. Artists so grow up. up. As if I'm artists. I'm artists grow up. So, to, but when you sign up to be a celebrity, you do take on a certain level of responsibility. There are lots of no yes, people you know. put that act on celebrities. You should not put that act on a celebrity or anybody else. I, Therefore, how when on them. He, when there he said, "I'm not here to raise your children," that's what he meant. So, therefore, he's letting you know right now: don't have your children looking up to me. If you thought I was a role model girl, I'm not the one. Okay, so, see, here's the thing: nobody. That doesn't mean that just because my child is a fan of yours this does not mean that I'm asking you to raise my child. The problem comes. The problem comes in, like what I said. As a parent, you have to now go into all of these grave details about things that some people may not have wanted to expose their child to that just yet. It's not that they don't like gay people or they don't like people who believe I'm not in, saying it. you know, worshiping Satan or whatever to that effect. Mm-hmm. But as children are very impressionable, and that's just what it is. Children are the they're okay. like sponges. You know, but take the take the day. sexual take the sexual stuff out of the video. You still talk to your children about the devil and what demons and stuff and what's some right and what's don't. wrong. That's do you not? You can't. Some they teach that in Bible school. But some people don't. Some people don't talk to their children about that. What but they teach that in Bible school. What's that? 
do they not teach that in Bible school? Every okay, so now you're assuming that every person that has a child goes to church and goes to Bible study and you're no, that you said a when you first came in, ain't that what you said? What's that? I can't hear you. Uh, did I hear something different? Zala, you unmute yourself. Okay, <laughs> sister, sister, can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Okay. Uh, I totally can understand what you're saying completely. Uh, I do not have children. Um, and I can understand that that can be maybe a bit traumatizing for a parent. To, you know, again, you're straight. So straight people live in a totally different world than we do. They don't, I mean, the gay lifestyle is not really that uh, much a part of straight community. So I can understand what you're saying, where it's like you're in, you're, you're put in situations to have conversations about things you did not expect to have. Because as a straight woman, you will assume your kid is going to be straight. No, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there, there are parents who choose when they want to have certain conversations with their children. And for instance, my, I'll throw my sister. She hit her, my nephew was a fan of Lil Nas X. My mm -hmm. nephew's six. She may not have wanted to have that conversation with him. And he was exposed to something as a fan of his who was singing yeah. a song about, you know what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it would yeah. never come up. So what, what conversation are you thing, having to saying, have? Huh? What I'm conversation is that? Because I've been sitting patient, and I, I no disrespect to anybody who's just been coming on, but can I please chime in? Because I have been really waiting to say something. Oh, yes. yes. Come on, please, Libra. Come on, baby. Okay. Um, first of all, I just want to ask, do I have the permission to speak freely? As long mm -hmm. as Because I don't want to offend it. Sure, first of all, can you hear me clear? Yes. Yes. Sounds we all adults. Okay. <laughs> no, I just wanted to make sure that you can actually hear me. Now, here's the thing um, that I keep on hearing that I've heard several times upon listening to this stream, and it's just like what really B said before she left the stream. And to me, my understanding is we will be the product of the things that we do not understand, and that's regardless of whether you are okay with it or not. Little Nas is only 21, and I keep on hearing, hearing the kids this, the kids this, but when is it okay for the kids to step into the conversation? Prime example. We've been dealing with Dwayne Wade and his child having a transition. It wasn't an issue then to have that conversation about a child. It wasn't too big then to say, speak on, on what a child can do and can't do. And let's be honest. The, the internet, for the most part, is what, what's raising these kids. And I can say that for a fact because I have three beautiful children that I take care of every day that I have to constantly monitor what they do. And it's some things that you just cannot catch. But in my household, my children know what the standard is. They know what they can and can't do. And they will tell it to anybody else. So when we're talking about influence, how much influence do you honestly have in your own household? And secondly, we keep diminishing this child for having his own version of what, how he sees life through his experience. We all experience life, but we all have a different life experience. When I leave out my door, it, I see the sun. But how I get out that door and what I got going on is my own personal experience. I don't get what it is so harsh about, oh, well, he's, he's showing my child this, he's showing, that's still that man's truth at the end of the day. He's been living with people telling him he's this, he's doing this, he's doing that. And it hasn't been a problem then. Nobody is speaking on that actual issue. He said in the beginning of the video, he really gave a full disclaimer. Nobody has yet brought up those issues of what, what's really, what he's really trying to channel. So as parents, I don't get it. I don't, I'm not understanding what is the outrage. And like you said, I agree with the gentleman. We've been taught about heaven and devil forever. And then I'll give this example. I went to Kroger's with my daughter. It was a full-on guy or a woman or whatever you want to call it. And I'm not being disrespectful. I really just don't want to put a yeah. pronoun on him that I don't know. But uh, they were fully in dress. Okay, fully dressed. My baby girl, I had to grab her. Me knowing how my daughter is, she's a person who's going to ask questions. I had to literally grab her hand and squeeze her hand at that moment because I didn't want her to say nothing out loud. These are the conversations that need to be had with children because this is what's happening in life. You know what I'm saying? Stop covering it up and stop throwing it under the rug. It's a lot of people thinking on different levels. 
prime example, Pornhub is not a million dollar industry because ain't nobody participating in it. It's not, these things are what's happening. Stop being so outraged to have the conversation and stop making it seem like these kids don't see and they don't know. Oh, they see and oh, they know. It is your job as a parent to break it down. You cannot protect your babies from the world. The world is happening and so they don't live in it. So stop covering it up and let them know the tea. My parents always told me what it was. So I didn't have to go out there and be blind to it. I didn't have to go out there and act like I didn't know what was going on. Baby, I had the tools. I knew what it was. So, I mean, to me, this was perfect because he's, you know, creating a conversation for things to be talked about. But we as parents and as older adults need to stop acting like this is something new. This is nothing new. We have saw all type of raunchy videos. Prince worked his ass out. Let's be for real. Like, these are things that have been going on that need to be talked about. Things that we love to sweep. That is the black culture community. Oh, sweep it up under the rug. Oh, we didn't see that. Oh, we don't know that. That's Ooh. not the reality. That's what the church stands to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm wow. sorry, but it was burning me, and I just couldn't take it no more. I, I'm not trying to be <laughs> offensive, but I got babies, and I could speak from a parent and standpoint. You got to teach these children. You cannot act like it's not happening because baby is happening. So when we go out there and we, when baby say things like, "Well, why are you educating your children?" If they don't learn at home, they gonna learn from it from their friends and their school. And, they, and they're going to learn it. Not only are it's going to be talked about, so you would want to about. tell them the correct way to do things and how to act and how to carry themselves. Just because your daughter sees a WAP video don't mean she's going to be walking around in a, a whole leotard with her ass out. No. Teach your daughter how to yeah. be a woman. Teach your daughter how to be a young lady and how to carry herself and she won't end up on the pole. And if she does, I don't know what the pole ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's still her choice. But at the end of the day, the Disney channel still works. I still pay a subscription. So that's their lane. That's where they should be doing Disney things. That's a 21 year old man. He should be able to express himself. It doesn't matter what the old town mm -hmm. world is. That's fine. I mean, we could do that. We are, I mean, we are here partaking in that music video. I mean, in that, that whole thing. But it's, it's all, it's just too much. At one point, you can add the children. At one point, you can't add the children. At one point, it's okay to let your child express themselves. It's, it's a, a branch of lanes that is too far to get all on one accord. Nobody will all, we will never be on all one accord with it. But it definitely has to be our understanding. I don't get, I'm just, <laughs> I was getting very revved up listening to many conversations. Like, are you serious? I think parents are more offended nowadays because, you know, back in the day, if you were watching a movie and a sex scene came on, oh, uh, you could tell your, cover your child's eyes or close your eyes. You don't need to see that. Now it's more so in your face and you can't really do that. So you have to do more to censor what your children see nowadays. So I think that's why a lot of parents are up in arms because you can't catch everything that you need to, to shield your child from it. So that's why instead of like the lady was saying, you know, she wasn't ready to have the conversation with her child yet. Well, at some point she's going to have to have it. Sometimes you may not be ready for a lot of things, but you have to explain to your child, hey, this is what's going on. But, you know, we may not do such and such over here or, you know, this is how you carry yourself this way. If a boy approaches you this way, this is what you need to do. Don't let some, you know, little boy, just because he told you he was cute, you know, be all in your pants. No, if a little boy tell you cute, okay, thank you. I hear that every day. Why? Because I hear it at home. I want to. Mm -hmm. And not only that. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I, I'm no, gonna, go ahead. I wanted to ask the, uh, the woman who was a parent and had the issue with like our children seeing the video and having to have conversations. I wanted to ask her, what is the issue with having the conversation with your kids about, you know, everything? What is the issue with that? Is it just because you feel like they are children and they can absorb it? Because I think that parents sometimes have the misconception that kids are dumb and they can't understand things, but they can't understand things if you never discuss things. So I'm just curious to find out what is the reasoning of why they don't want to have the conversation with their children about just life in general, as far as other realities that are not theirs. Well, my 
Wait a minute. The creative queen, she, she didn't drop off, did she? No, she's here. She's just muted. Okay. So. Wait, who do we lose? We lost um, Libra. I think. Libra. Oh. What? Can I, ask I, think that just, I think she just left. Creative quick, come on. Try. I'm sorry, guys. No, that's okay, baby. I'm and here. right before you go, let I'm me say. Um, and I don't know how. <laughs> okay, let me say, Miss Dora had dropped off and y'all were like going, going, going. And I didn't get to tell her she had dropped off and didn't say she was leaving. Thank you for coming up, Miss Dora, wherever you are. Hopefully, she's still in the chat. Okay, go ahead, Creative Queen. What I was saying was it wasn't so much that having the conversation was an issue. For instance, the story at the young lady that was speaking uh, just before us said she didn't want her daughter to address, I'm assuming, what was possibly a transgender person, a transsexual person in the store. She didn't, she, she squeezed her daughter's hand so that she wouldn't say anything to offend the person. So she went home and had a conversation. For instance, this video, perhaps if I had the conversation with my child first, their reaction to seeing something without knowing what it is would be different. So what what that's that's how I see that. It puts people in a position to have to explain things. Parents, we're only human. We're some mm -hmm. of us are learning and growing with our kids too. I don't think yeah. the issue the issue is not that he's gay. The issue is not that it's a demonic thing. My point is I, my standpoint was his fan base was kids. It won't mm -hmm. be. That's just what it is. So that that was my take on that. I okay. mean, I'm not a parent, but, but I just know that, you know, how I've seen the people that parent in my life, like my mother and my sister, you know, just like a lot of people are saying, you choose what to show your children. Because I remember when Coming to America 2 came on and we had my niece in the room, and once it started going a different way, she had to get out the room because they was doing some stuff that we didn't feel like was appropriate. But in the same instance, she also is aware of, you know, certain things that we don't feel like is appropriate that she or like basically she understands certain things and what they are and how we view them like sex and stuff like that and drugs and stuff. She don't really know the whole shebang about it because she's only six but like you were like somebody was saying earlier there it was an explanation to a certain degree because kids are not stupid and so those conversations are necessary at almost any age i mean i i, you, I don't think everybody here has probably heard somebody say that when they was in kindergarten or something like that they was kissing in the back when the teacher wasn't looking, you know, so yeah. like <laughs> kids be doing whatever they want to do when everybody not looking, you know, yeah. so they aren't stupid. I definitely agree with that. I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a parent, so I don't know how it feels when you do want to, you know, protect your kid, but you know. I think and, that and, I'm and to the, of, um, a, hello? No, go ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that uh, um, a lot of issues with this whole kid conversation is that it's not that the kids aren't ready for this conversation to be had or to be talked about. Just a lot of times the parents themselves aren't ready to have that conversation because they feel uncomfortable talking to a child because they think that they're protecting the child. And right. the reality is that if you're mm -hmm. not talking mm -hmm. to the child at mm -hmm. early age or at an age enough for them before they get into it, before it happens, so they can know how to combat it when it happens, you're actually, for me, is a detriment to a child. Because me working in the school system with children of all ages, I see that happen. Well, I saw that happen, whatever. I saw that a lot of parents wouldn't have a conversation with, with their child. And like you just said, they're in a stairwell hunting. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, okay, well, if, if a parent would have had a conversation about, okay, respecting yourself and respecting your body and using your body as a temple, you're not letting three little boys in a uh, stairwell finger pop you. You know what I'm saying? So are you ready for me to give you the phone call saying that I caught your daughter in the uh, stairwell being finger popped by three, three little boys? Or would you rather have that conversation before that even happens so she knows how to respect herself and know how to have build her own self-esteem or have the self-esteem built in the home? A lot of people don't think about those as, as, as such as well. Oh, well, they're just too young. Okay, well, things are happening. They're watching videos. They're watching TV. They're on the internet. They're using the computer better than we are. A lot of things are happening right under our noses, and we're trying to baby and coddle people while it's not when we should be having some straightforward conversations. Have you kissed a boy before? Have you have someone touched you? 
are, are you getting these emotions and feelings while it's not? You know what I'm saying? What are just simple conversation that we should have with people while it's not, especially our children. Like I said, a lot of parents are uncomfortable with themselves or scared themselves that they're going to ignite or trigger something because they probably remember what they've been through at that age and how they got ignited. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to. Can add I say something real quick? Oh, go ahead. I um, so I agree with the whole adult because we had this conversation about it's easy. I understand I'm not a parent. I ain't going to be one for a while, hopefully, girl. So I'm not talking from that. But I know there are some things that my parents hid from me that I had to learn the hard way. And if I learned that before, I wouldn't have learned it the hard way. So. This, we have this conversation as black people, as black men, especially. We have the talk. Uh, when you get into the next car, make sure that you don't do a whole bunch of um, foolishness while you're getting your ID and stuff like that, because they might think you have a gun in your car. We have all these conversations, but sometimes the conversations that really need to be happening, like Food Junkie was talking about, have you been touched before? We don't have those conversations until it's too late and the baby's already heard. And then half the time, the people don't believe their own kids because they think that they just want to do it for attention. Now, we need to have these conversations as quickly as possibly can. Um, these shows should, um, I understand that some topics might not be what you want to have a conversation that early, but what was that, James? I can't. That, um, that's a conspiracy theory. She's talking about bunkers and chips in your head and oh, girl, continue, baby. <laughs> no, well, that, that is a big issue, especially in the black community, uh, as far as molestation. Um, but another topic that's never talked about is incest molestation. Uh, a lot of molestation in the black community comes from incest, but it's never spoken about or talked about at all. It's always brushed under the rug. Um, and so... I guess I want to pose the question to the mothers. Say, for example, your child got molested by a relative of yours. Would you go to the police? Or would you just yes. work yes. it out with the family? Yes. Personally, um, when it comes... When it comes... Well, as a parent, here's the thing. Um, I can speak from this perspective because at, when before I was a parent, I was one who definitely prejudged and said a lot of things in ignorance that I had no idea of. Let's just be honest. On my perspective, I was. Um, until until I had that experience of having children, and I'm not saying that nobody is coming here from an ignorant place. I'm just saying I know who I was before I had children. And honey, I was a hot mess. But once I had my children and I thought a lot of things as parents, it's no book for parenting. It's a lot of things that come up. Children, yes, they are children, but they have their own personality. They have their own brains. They come up with things with their own, you know, knowledge. It is your job as a parent to steer your kid in the right direction. So, yes, if it was a family member, my job is to protect my kid at all costs, family or foe. If it was a situation of that nature and the way I set up, I have it where my children are open to come to me with things. Now, I fell off the line, so I, was, I didn't hear the comment that was said about, um, um, when my child was in the store. The reason why I did have to have that conversation is because I always let my child, my children know, you live in this world, but you don't live in this world alone. So you, you don't have the right to sit and judge and do whatever because you don't know what anyone else's life experience is. But if someone was to do any harm or damage to my kid, I wouldn't care who it was. It would, hopefully, you would hope that I got to the authorities before I handled it myself. Yeah. Right. And also, I want to say one thing before I go. Going back to this whole religious aspect of it all, um, we associate these religious things, we associate everything with these religious things as a certain sect of the population. Girl, this is creativity at the end of the day. It's his interpretation of the creativity. He made it his own by using the serpent and the way he used it. Um, he made the whole place my like James was breaking down in the beginning of the video, which he did really great, um, about how he broke it down and said it's Montero. So Montero is his birth name. So he's bringing us into his own personal world inside his head. So we're getting a glimpse inside his head. So we a, a lot of times 
conflate it to, oh, well, this is a religious thing and we have to protect this at all costs because da 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 and we get backlash because of that instead of it being a creative aspect of it. I understand because I, I grew up in a church, so I understand all that. I'm not somebody that's like, oh, I'm going to be a Satanist. Girl, I ain't doing this shit because I know who God is for me, but I'm not going to necessarily take heed and like gatekeep the imagery of it because we've seen it so many times. Missy Elliott has gotten herself in trouble um, for just being out the box and creative with her own videos when she first came out. So it's like a continuous cycle of people misinterpreting things and people feeling things, feeling things. It's it's really about perspective at the end of it. At percep perspective and perception. Perception rules a lot of things in everybody's lives, and it kind of and it kind of misconstrues everything, and then people get into arguments about it because they have a different percep perspective about it. But that's all I'm going to say before I leave. I think I think us as gay people have to be careful. Thank you, Zara. Where because I feel like we get so defensive. Uh, anytime anyone gay is attacked in any form or fashion, whether it's an intentional attack, I think that um, we have to recognize what this video really represents. You know, I have my own view upon it, but at the same time, I, I think we have to kind of take a breath when addressing people that aren't in our lifestyle. I think we have to sometimes just be like, okay, Breathe. You don't get it. Let me try to educate you on how I feel. You may disagree, but I'm not going to come aggressive or attack you or feel like I need to reprimand you because you don't feel the way that I feel. I think that's one of the biggest issues with the gay community, and I'm a part of the LGBTQ community, and I think that's one thing that we have done that kind of puts our movement backwards. Like, if you want allies, you cannot attack your allies. You you have to be uh, educational and kind and just let them know and talk to them. You can't you can't get love with aggression. It just doesn't work that way. Um, and if someone doesn't necessarily agree with you, be understanding. Try to talk to them. Try to teach them. But do not get so defensive to where the conversation is always going left. No one's hearing anyone. Everyone's interrupting each other and everyone's just has a big issue. And the whole topic is just skewed and just not even seen. Well, I just want to say something before I hop off because uh, it did come up. So before I leave, somebody did say like that the conversation wasn't being had about uh, how Nas actually felt in regards to the fact that he was hearing that for however many years of his life. Um, that's why I started with how I started when I came and said, my word that I used was concern. It wasn't hate. It wasn't protect this and that. It was concern for why this person felt like that was the necessary thing to accept hell if that's what he believed in. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I don't want anybody who, this is coming from a Christian because people keep bringing up, you know, yeah. Christianity. I know, like, the, a lot, I know the loudest voice a lot of time is the Christian voice, but. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it's coming from across the board, but I'm going to speak from it because we, we do be having the loudest voice sometimes. Don't think that all of us, because a lot of those people that call themselves a Christian are not. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that because. If you even know anything about Jesus, you know that's not how Jesus acted, whether you believe or not. So, yes, concern for people that's questioning why I said concern, because I would never want anybody to think that if they do believe in heaven and hell, that they're going to hell because of that. So, yes, concern. I don't understand why y'all trying to combat that. Yes, I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody that thinks because they're different that they are going to go to hell because I don't believe that. So I'm sorry if you don't like the word that I'm using, but that's how I feel. Yeah. And that's love. That's coming saying. from love. Yeah. I got what you were saying. So that's all I, I wanted to say. You know, I, I understand that it comes so hard from people that call themselves Christian. And, you know, I'm going to always stay steadfast in my faith, but I'm, I can't ignore the fact that there are people that call themselves that, that cause harm upon your community. And for that, you know, 
I can only do my part and say that we're not all like that. And some of us do support you guys. Mm -hmm. And I know there's gay Christians, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just take that as you will. Some of us really are here to kind of have this conversation and get y'all to understand that we don't feel that way, you know, all yeah. of us. So yeah. that's you, my little two cents. <laughs> you, you have the energy of love, sister. Like I felt that from you. Thank you. Even <laughs> when we kind of got into a little bit, you mean no harm at all. You are Absolutely. an ally. And you love. So, yeah, I, and that's why I said what I just said, like, look, we have to calm the fuck down and not feel like we need to attack people if we don't necessarily agree. Calm down, have a breath, and just try to understand and try to have a conversation. It's all about conversation. Right. right. I'm going to say this I agree, we But I'm going to go ahead and drop before. down, so... You know, thanks Love for you, having sister. me, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for Love coming you guys. Out. Bye. I wanted to say before, you know, there's people dropping out and some people coming in, but um, absolutely, I I've enjoyed you all. So, because I know some people are actually leaving out, so I just want to say that we ain't leaving. I'm not going anywhere, but I've enjoyed you all, and I enjoy the way that everybody has acted. We we've been here for almost three hours. And we've had a little snafu, you know, and it's, we've touched on some very hard topics, very hard topics. And y'all, I, I think you all have done a wonderful job. I, I do. I do. Continue. Y'all, welcome. I want to say one thing before you want to get started right quick, if I can. Um, yep. What is kind of, I'm like kind of looking crazy about is when we keep want to put ourselves different than everyone else. Yes, we have different experiences, but as a person of the LGBTQIA community, was that I don't want anyone to think that I think that I'm so different to where I can't be understood by someone who's not part of the community. Because as I tried to um, make that clear earlier, although James and I are part of the same community, we're both black men, we're both you know, saying, do what we do, it's not we still have different experiences. I don't always necessarily agree with everything that James said as a black gay man. And nor do I think that he will always agree with what I say and do as a gay black man. So I don't want people to think that just because you're black and you're gay and you're part of the letters of that, that we all have the same mindset. Because as James says all the time, there are some self-hating, self-deprecating black gay men that we hear and see on here all the time. So I don't want people to automatically think that's because, oh, he's black or he's gay or he or they're a part of the letter um, group or not. They all think or move the same way or will move or think the same way. We need to be very open, not only to our allies and the people who are not part of the letter group, but also toward the people who are part of the letter group. Because sometimes we can be the most discriminating and most hating amongst each other. So, if, like you said, lead, lead with love and live with love was not, that's what we need to do towards not only ourselves, but to everyone else around us and that we come in contact. And once we start doing that and exercising that aspect of who we are and of our power and the God that is inside of us, I think a lot of things will, would be different. A lot of things would be, you know what I'm saying, not what people think it is, or things like that, if that makes sense. Now, y'all want me to act ugly, right? Didn't I just get done saying about how nice everybody acted? <laughs> now y'all want me to act ugly. What happened? <laughs> Say, do it for the grandma. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, y'all. <laughs> Where are the Supremes? <laughs> Y'all, what's up with that phone? What are you doing? Oh, can I'm you hear me? Yes, I can hear oh. you. Hi, oh, y'all. Hey. How you doing, man? And um, oh, hello yeah. to your panelists. Hello. Hello. Hey. hey. Um, I'm glad you're um on this topic, James. I'm so glad um that you're actually on this topic. Um. I just tuned in, so I don't know what was covered, but I sat in a couple of these discussions and I never participated. But in all of them <clears throat> that I sat in, like the 
the homosexual agenda comes up and the mm-hmm. effeminization um, of black men come up. I just wanted to know yeah. your thoughts on that. Well, you know, that's, that's, that's a given. One, because Little Nas X is out and gay, and he's a rapper. So wherever he steps, those things are going to come up. He's going to always, that, he's going to always like that match. So, you know, it doesn't matter what he does. And with this thing, this whole situation, like I said, I still feel like it was a trolling situation. He wanted to get it going. He wanted to get it going. And that's what he set out to do. And that's what he's done. But as far as his femininity and him being gay, that is going to always come up no matter where he steps because of what he does and what he represents. So that's kind of one of those things. He he's um yeah, he's just he's that dude for that. So that's just kind of you just gotta expect that when you see him. Hip hop is not that open, it's still not that open to us like that. And he just kicked the door in. So it's gonna always come up. But I think he got strong, tough skin. And that's one thing that I've actually seen with him through this thing. He has strong old tough skin with his trolling ass. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> I agree. I think he definitely was trolling. Um, I'm not offended by the imagery um, at all because I think um, I think a lot of the people at least that I came into who were offended by the imagery um, were like um, religious or deeply religious and I'm not. So I wasn't offended. You know, I don't believe in a uh, a double or anything like that, um, but I did think I think it was creative, at least the video. <clears throat> yeah, and and that's we went through that in the beginning, um, y'all. I actually broke down. You have you're gonna have to red ball back. You got to go back and listen to what I had to say because I broke down the video and I also broke down the lyrics of the song too. Um. And one, and the funny thing is that one doesn't have anything to do with the other. They kind of could stand alone. It it was a trolling thing. He got he wanted to get the conversation started, and he's gotten several conversations started. That's kind of where we are. But it's you know we've been on it for three hours, so we kind of have gone off in a lot of different directions, a lot of touchy spots. Um, you name it, we've talked about it. So that's kind of where we are. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, I'm going to say this. And I, yeah, I just have one more thing to say, and then I'm going to jump off because I am really enjoying the panel. Um, but I just wanted to say um, I'm, I'm beyond the age of 30, been um, homosexual, I would say, all my life. Um, and I never attended like any meetings <laughs> regarding any agendas, never got any memos um, regarding any agendas and never been um, a part of one. Um, I, I think a lot of times when people bring up agenda, they're speaking about visibility that was once denied or maybe with the um, advent of like us being in a global community, the internet, um, like people are being seen, you know, different letters, you know, the H's and the T or the homosexuals and the trans, different people are being seen. But um, it's, trust me, um, in terms of being homosexual is not um, anything you can be recruited to do um, as far as my firsthand knowledge of being one. And it's not anything that someone could influence you to do. Um, and with that, I'm going to um, hop off. Thank you, y'all. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see. I know somebody just, oh, wait a minute, here's somebody. I'm sorry, Jay. Hello, sorry, Jay. Can, has everyone gotten a chance to speak with me? Um, this is LB. Yeah, come I on. Wanna, I, I didn't want to jump in front of anybody. I'm just asking. Uh-uh, go ahead, baby. Thank you so much for being so patient. Thank you, Lady Key. Um, hello, everyone. I don't know if this has um, already been mentioned because I just kind of found the live. That's but okay. um, come on, music. Well, first of all, Satan or Lucifer, 
he was the minister of music. He he was the one over worship and praise in heaven. So Kirk, then, course, I'm sorry. I was just making a joke. Never mind. Oh, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, he was casted out of heaven because he he rose up against God. He thought he was you know better than God, and so he was casted out of out of heaven. So I just wanted to make the correlation with music and the evilness that's in music. And I'm not saying all music, that is not what I'm saying. But um, there are some that are gonna lead us astray. That's what the devil came here to do, to seek and destroy. And he's gonna do that in the way that he knows how to do that. When I first saw Little Nas X's um, video, now I can't take anything away from the creativity. It, it is awesome. However, it is blasphemous as far as my religion teach me teaches me. Mm -hmm. um, the the imagery imagery it, it, you just can't play like that with God. I'm sorry. Why? And so that's that's excuse me. Why? Because first of all, you're not even supposed to make any any idols. You're not supposed to make any likeness of God. Um, For your faith. In the Bible that I believe in, you may not believe in it. But this is what I believe in. But why does it's, everyone? Why does everyone have to follow your faith? You don't have to. But it's he, he went on the he he went on the Bible that I'm speaking of. That's that's what he depicted. So that's what I'm speaking of. Does that mean he follows your Bible? He 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 made um, a mockery of it, and that's what I'm here to speak against. He made a mockery of it. So you you may not believe it, and I respect that. But I also I want to be respected for what I believe in. Okay. And so, you know, I, he made a mockery of what I believe in. So that's what I'm speaking on. Okay, so um, then when I saw the tennis shoes or heard of the sneakers that, that are coming out with the, you know, 666 pairs and human blood and 666 on the back of it. And I, I mean, it's just all too much that he's playing with God like this. Um, I don't know who's advising him. I don't know if, I know that, I, I read a statement that he said that um, people always told him that he was going to hell. And I, I want to speak to that. As Christians, we have to be careful of how we use God's word. We don't have any power to send anyone to heaven or hell. We don't know how God is gonna judge us. We are not supposed to judge we are supposed to correct out of love. And because we don't have that power, all we can do is do what God has commanded us to do, and that is to love one another. So I'm not upset with the little Nas X, because um, I, I feel like he's hurt. And he said that people have always told him that he was going to hell because of, you know, his lifestyle. And so he was like, now that I'm going to hell, I've accepted that I'm going to hell. Y'all still mad. I'm only mad about him mocking, you know, mocking the Bible. But okay. I, I'm very hurt that someone has hurt this child. And someone said it before. Christians, you can't call yourself a Christian and then do that kind of stuff. You cannot go around judging people and telling people because you don't know you don't know what God has in store for any of us. God loves us all. When he commanded us to love, he told us to love, period. He didn't tell us only to love those who were like us. That's not what he said. And so Christians have been the biggest um, misrepresentation of God, unfortunately. So we have to be careful when we call ourselves Christians that because we are the representation of God. Right. But we're misrepresenting him. And that's the point I want to make. We are we are not representing him in the best light. And that's why people run away from religion. That's why they run away from Christianity. You know, you see a pregnant, a, a young pregnant teen in, in church. And instead of you embracing her, loving on her. And, and accepting her and asking her her needs. No, you snicker and talk about her. That's not Christianity. Can I ask you, okay, say in your Bible, um, per you believe, I don't know if you believe this or not, but 
from what I know, it says that being gay, you could be condemned to hell, right? Um, so if, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where like, if your Bible, your Bible is the truth. Uh, so if we're going to be condemned to hell, what are the options do we have for just being alive and being ourselves? Like, I understand the, the outrage with his whole video, but at the same time, this is what's been told by your Bible that is supposedly the truth. So if we go by your Bible, then there's nothing wrong at all with what he did. He's serving oh, no. God that he's been pushed upon by the Christian community. Well, look, first of all, right, I, said that, I felt like so first of all, those who have driven him to this mindset and to this space, they have to answer for that because that's a soul lost. And so, uh, and of course, if that's not what you believe in, I, I respect that. But according to what I believe in, that's a lost soul. Um, and those who have led him astray, they have to answer for that. But going, going back to your question, asking, you know, saying whether or not the Bible says that um, being gay is wrong. Um, it does speak against that. It speaks against a lot of stuff. Yeah. So guess what? If I'm sleeping with the next girl's husband, I can't tell you that a gay person's going to hell, and I'm not. I mean, it's it's just yes, not. Yes, but position. but that has nothing to do with my supposed salvation from God. The is fact, that, is that, the fact that the Bible the says that we are condemned because we are who we are. No, so you, no. If you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I can accept Jesus, but that doesn't make me straight. Guess what? That's between you and God. No, that's Again. just a fact. I can't be made straight. No, that's no, no. That's, I, I didn't say it. that you could be made straight. I did not, I'm not arguing that point. I said that is between you and God. Do you honestly think gay people won't be in heaven? Absolutely. I don't believe they, in that, so I don't know, but I'm just going by what, you, what I know of your faith. Well, well, I'm just letting you know, absolutely, there are going to be some murderers in heaven. There are going to be some gay oh, people, my, some not gay people. like a good place. I'm sorry? That doesn't sound like a fun place. Murderers. Well, because it's all about if you've given your life to him. It's all about if you've accepted him. So if you give your life to God, no matter what you do, you'll be fine? If you accept God as your, as your Lord and Savior... If you are truly repentful of, you know, if you repent from for the things that you have done, yes, sir, you will so have. If a I kill somebody you. just now and I repent, I'll be fine. If you're godly sorry, you can't just go around saying, "Okay, God, I'm sorry for that." No, that's not how that works. But that's but not if what you, it says. If you are godly sorry, do you know understand what that means? If you are godly yes. sorry, I understand what so, that means. So that's but the I can be god. I can be godly sorry plenty of times. There's no limit to that. If you are godly sorry, I have a question. That's that's all I can tell you. If you are godly sorry, but you you have to understand that you can't just all you know loosely go around doing whatever you want to do and then say oh, killing God, people. Sorry for that. I can't just go around killing people and just say I'm sorry and maybe fine. No, because sir. That's what the Bible says no, that's not what the Bible says. You know what? You, you, you need, can and, I and, jump that's, in not right what the, that's not what the Bible says. So in order for you to understand it, you're probably going to have to study it. And if, you if, I, re if that, I repent to God for is. my, if I repent to God for my sins, that I've if done, you, but I you have fine. to, but you have to repent, honey. You can't That's just insane. say it. That's what you, you said. have to repent. You have to repent. Can I please uh, jump in right there because I think the issue is the mis misconception of the word repent. To exactly. ask for forgiveness okay. is one thing. To repent is to turn away from exactly. sin. So if you truly repent, you probably yes, won't keep committing the same sin yeah, over and over. It. So if I repent for being gay, even though that's who I am entirely, and I'm not attracted to women whatsoever, I'm expected to live a life alone because I cannot be with women, and that's supposed to be fine? No, because it's not a sin. That's what people have been told. Don't try to say Being gay is not a sin. Once you have the concept of being who you are, who God made you to be, is not a sin. Because he made you in his own image, his own perfect image. So who you are as a person is in his God's own perfect image. If you keep thinking that, you know what I'm saying, being gay is a sin, then that's something that you need to deal with with God or within yourself. But no one's asking anyone to repent for being gay. What they're saying is that being, um, being 
repent for and truly repent for, you must not no longer do this sin again or have the desire to do the sin again. That's why I always say, I don't need your apology. The best apology to me is change behavior. So once you repent, your behavior must change. Your desire must change. Your actions must change. Everything about you who, that caused you to do that sin must change. But if you're going to commit sin or do something like killing someone with that as a repetitive thing, but thinking that just because you're going to say, oh, I'm sorry, God, I'm going to kill somebody else. No, you're not truly repentful. You're playing with God. You're playing with the word. You're playing with the action. And that's what I think that people are trying to get through to you. It's not but, always. Can I ask a question? Person. Can I please ask the question? I'm yes. sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. But on, the, question that I want, the question that I would like to ask is, the the main topic is the imagery, correct? Right. That's what that's what the that's what the outrage is. But my question is, are we not receiving the message? So the imagery is more important than the actual message. Okay, boom. Which is why we have the imagery because now I have been telling you this, but you're not hearing me. So maybe if I can see this, it's okay to view these things like you will go to hell. But when you actually see what a hell looks like, now you're upset or now you're offended or now you feel some type of way. But this is the thing that you have been pushing. This is the thing that you have been saying. You have been talking about hell. But when they show, when a person is expressing and is showing you what your words look like to their image, you are upset about people, not, not, I'm saying you, because I'm just speaking general to people, but people are upset about the imagery, but I'm showing you how what you say, this is how it makes me feel. So I, I don't understand how the imagery is being played with when literally this is someone's life who we're playing with. Who's like are we not getting them? Are we missing the message? It, it's his life, correct? Yeah, but it's his life. He do what he wants with his life. That was my point. That's what I was saying. He can do what he wants with his life. It's his choice. Why is it? No, that's what that was. What my point was that that was my point. Well, I was saying it's his life for him to express upon his oh, imagery. Okay. Okay, We're okay, upset okay. about the imagery. But this is what he's expressing. That's what that was my point. Okay. Like that's what we're upset about. But he's only showing you what it is that has been told to him. So you say, "Oh, you going to hell?" Okay, this is what hell looks like to me when you say it. Now it's like, "Oh no, no, don't put that out there. Don't say that." But that's how I've been receiving it and internalizing it. So now that you see it from my perspective, how are you upset about the image that you see? Yeah. It's not so mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. It's not so much the imagery of hell. It's not that. It's him playing. It's being blasphemous, like him being chained up, like he's Jesus going uh, to uh, before Pontius Pilate, being being condemned. He's not Jesus. You don't do that. You don't play like that. Slaves are it's, chained up, also. That has nothing to do with Jesus. Yes, it has something to do with Jesus. Do, do, if you know the Bible, you know that that's how Jesus was brought before council. But there's other people that have been chained other than Jesus. He was playing with the Bible. He was he was he was depicting the Bible. How do you know that? Oh my God. He was in the Garden of Eden. He was in the Garden of Eden. The serpent, like if you know the Bible, you know that the story. Act, well, the part the part in the beginning of the video is actually retelling the story of Adam and Eve. Right. That was the beginning. He was actually telling the story of Adam and Eve. So I think that that So where's the call? I don't know. I I don't I don't know about him making himself well, I think I I find that yeah, I find that Christians like to make things very biblical when they're not always biblical. It, do you if you know yeah. the Bible, then you don't. When he was chained up, do you not know that Jesus was brought before um, Pontius Pilate? And, yeah, he kind of said that himself, Gil. And the, hmm, okay, in, in the interview, in the interview with him and Zach Campbell. Well, what's wrong with you the Bible feeling like so Jesus? Jesus? What's wrong with you feeling like Jesus? Well, we're going to fall into the category of that we are all made in his image. Yeah. yeah. Well, I want to say something. I want to chime in real quick. Yeah. Please. I want to say something. I, I was just, with this whole thing, I was just saying it's, uh, it's funny to me with the black community and the outrage is coming out with this. It really shows um, kind of the disconnect with the gay community and the black community that we've been saying for so long that, yeah, you can, you are condemning us and you're putting us down. And it, it's related to, and I'm ruffle some feathers, it's related to kind of how 
white people, the white community brushes off black the black community when stuff happens in our community, when someone's unlawfully killed, when someone is discriminated against, we're saying we're tired of this, we're yeah. tired, of, we have this outrage. And then white people are saying, oh, those black people, you know, they're playing a race card. That's, you know, their issues are not yeah. that big of a deal. And we're always brushed off. But then when a, when a, a gay person comes out to, and saying, telling the black community, hey, you're condemning me, you're hurting me, you're what you're saying, these things I went through all my life, and then you're brushing it off and saying, well, his feelings don't make, don't make any sense. So his feelings don't matter. Because oh, no. what I'm his saying is, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it matters. I'm not saying no, I'm not, and I'm not saying everybody, but I, I can, I, I'm, I'm gay male, and I can relate to this because I grew up with a, a very religious mother, and I've heard that when my, and it took a long time for my mother to come around. When I first, uh, my mother first found out about me, I heard all of that. You're, you're an abomination. You're going to go to hell. All yeah. of this. So it, 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 it's, I can relate to that. I can relate to that wholeheartedly. And I was like, you know, you can't, you know, like I said with with the video. I'm 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 with the video and whatever stuff. It's not really my type of music, anyways. I'm not even into the song or whatever and stuff like that. But I see what he was saying in the imagery. He was trying to put up what he was trying to say. He was like you're saying. You're pretty much saying, hey, you're saying you condemning me to hell. So I'm just going to show you how hell is going to be when I get there. Now with the right. whole. Thing and stuff, I don't agree with that. That's taking a little too far. I'm not going that far into all of the, you know, spirit, spirit, spirituality and stuff like that. But it's just, you know, I think that we need to really look back on things. The black community, the straight community needs to look back on things and say, hey, maybe what gay people have been going through and stuff like that, they are being prosecuted, just like we are being prosecuted and, and being discriminated against. When we are with all of the stuff that happened last year with George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and all this stuff, the black community is being prosecuted and all we're saying, we just want to be heard. And then that's all the gay people are saying to the, to the uh, black community. We just want to be heard. We just want to be respected. We just want to be seen as equals. And, but Jay, and, that's, that's yeah. exactly mm -hmm. what I meant when I said Christians. Mm -hmm. To me, I'm a Christian. And I can, mm -hmm. uh, I can agree that we have caused the most hurt. And it hurts me yeah. to hear people say that Christians have caused them the most hurt. Because that's mm -hmm. not what Christianity is about. Christianity is about loving one another, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, and, and let me tell you, my mother, I, I read an article once, uh, this black man, um, he had a son who was gay. He loved his son. He loved his son's partner. But when it came time for his son to get married, he didn't want to go to the wedding because of his faith, his belief. And he said that, um, you know, he just didn't support the marriage, but he loved the, you know, the son and the partner. Yeah. And his mm -hmm. family was against him because they felt like, you know, he was wrong for not going to the wedding. So I asked my mother, because I just wanted to know what my mother would do. Mm -hmm. I said, mama, if this were you, would you go to your child's wedding? And she said, absolutely. And I said, and I was really shocked because mm -hmm. my mother is such a Christian, right? So yeah. I said, I said, mama, you would really go? And she said, I'm going to support my child. That's mm -hmm. my child. And that but, made me really see my mother in a different light. And they're and they're good. There are a lot of you know black in the community that will accept their children wholeheartedly. I have other friends that have come out to their mothers and their mothers accepted them with open arms. Some did not. So it's, it really just depends on the person. But I'll tell people this: go whenever there's a post about uh, a gay person or something like with Zy Wade or this with Lil Nas X. Just go to like the shade room and look through the comments. And it's mostly all black people, and they're saying some of the nastiest, hateful things about it. So you see, there is still a lot of hate, hatred towards the the black gay, the gay community, and this is like you know, yeah. How you know, what you know? I don't know. It's just weird. It's 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 really weird, and with this whole situation, um, yeah, I, I don't think straight people really mm -hmm. quite understand. Like it's like y'all don't get that. Uh, it is rough. Like even speaking from my own experience, like my dad hated me ever since I was born. He's he's been very verbally abusive towards me my entire life. He even told me he hated me, especially when he found out confirmed that I was gay. Uh, he he just became truly cruel to me, um, and that stems from Christian views. Even though he was nothing like a Christian, but in the black community, if you're black, you're Christian. A lot of the times, whether you exude those characteristics or not. And the fact that you have a gay black son is very embarrassing to the black culture. It's very easy for a 
a woman to be accepted gay, but a black man, that's like, that's the utmost abomination. And again, like I said before, we learn rejection at an early fucking age. So I need you guys to understand, like, I get your belief in your God. I understand that. But at the same time, it, it, you guys don't know what it's like to learn that you are not enough and you are not liked at a fucking, at five years old. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, it's a different monster because it truly, it totally changes your entire upbringing and life. You feel segregated from the world because it's mm -hmm. one thing to be black and be segregated from white people, but it's a different thing to be segregated from mm -hmm. white people and your own people. It hurts from white people, but it hurts more when you can't even be in your own community and being accepted and loved. So I get you guys' you got you viewpoints on religion and all those things, but at the same time with us, quite honestly, we don't give a dang about religion because when we grew up, we were told early, if you're gay, you're going to hell. That's what it is. You can't change it, but you're going to hell regardless, no matter what you do. And if you're not going to be a part of the straight community, you're going to be totally pushed out of everything. So I, I, I need you guys. I, I want all the straight Christians to understand and have empathy for how gay people feel being pushed away at childhood. Because majority of the time for us, it happens in childhood. We learn very early, you're not wanted. As but Gil, can, can I tell you, you are wanted. That's the thing. People, like I told you, people have misrepresented what God is about. There are things written in the Bible. I, I get that. But the God that I, I the, the God I believe I serve is a merciful God. And he loves all of, we are all his children. Mm -hmm. And, and I'll say, I'll go ahead. Go, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. I just, I, mm -hmm. I just want you to under. I, I'm sorry that you, you know, experience what you experience. I'm about to be brought to tears. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that you experienced what you experienced. Don't make me cry too. Stop. Don't make me cry too. Oh my God, I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm telling you, that is not what Christianity. That's what we were taught. Yes, that is not what the hell Christianity is about. It's not. It feels like that all the time. I know it does, baby, but it's not. I'm telling you, it's not. You, you, when you have a relationship with God with for yourself, only He can judge you. That's what I'm telling you. Only He can judge you. Oh my God! I, I know. I know. It feels so hateful. It feels I know so hateful. Hard. I know God. that people. I know you're surrounded by people, and you have to be surrounded by them until you have to go meet your Maker. But I am telling you. The hell with the people over here. I'm telling you, like you just you gotta learn how to cope with it and just turn to a better, a higher being, honey. I'm telling you, God loves you. It don't You're feel like it. it don't, I, know, I know it doesn't. I, hell, I'm a straight woman, and I'm telling I just prayed yesterday and I, I told God, please manifest yourself in my life because I don't feel like you love me. But I'm telling you, you're not the only one who feels that I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to take away from your plight. I'm not. I'm just telling you that even me as a believer, I, I question sometimes. But I, I want you to I want you to understand that it's it's people who have misrepresented what God is about. I'm telling you that. You got you gotta believe that. You have to believe it. God loves you. 